Got quiet now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I I, th- I think I took some substance <laughs> before this. Hey everybody! In. Hey dosers! Welcome to Dose Eight. Woo! Y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna clap. Hey, my yeah. bad. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I see how this gonna go your, already. I told y'all I can smell the testosterone earlier. Y'all, welcome back. I love y'all <laughs> so much. <laughs> I, I am so is. sorry that I uh, took a break last week, but I needed a mental day, okay? But we are back, and we are at it, and our topic today is, yes, honey, I am blackity black black. Are y'all blackity black black? Man, about as black as it gets. Blackity black. black, black even black. Though, uh, I was about to say, you a little yellow. I ain't gonna. Don't do that to me. <laughs> I know, look. I'm Yo, I, I, I knew this man for yeah. a long time. He black. He black? All right, cool, <laughs> cool. No question, no question. It's, it's not, not a lot of light skin right. man. We I on trust. The color is starting off with the colors. Just already. a little bit. We up here anyway. We sorry. We sorry. He, he the third. He Everybody dog. family in here that got infiltrated. Exactly. Everybody family that got infiltrated. This you right. Yeah. This is the fourth light skin man I trust. Everybody else I came across, I I, I can leave him in the shipwreck. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> it is. It's only <laughs> yeah, I know this guy. Uh, before <laughs> we years. even jump into this, years, I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Okay. I'm gonna let them go one by one. You know, okay. give y'all their tags, their mm-hmm. name, all of that good stuff. So y'all can go ahead and start. Okay. Oh well, Nazir Gray. Uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, I, I literally begged for her to get on the show because uh, I had to get on. I had to get on camera. Some I, I, I had to talk about something. Not big. Uh, not so great. You can find me on all social media. Is uh, an actor named Gray. That's A C. Oh, excuse me. A N A C T O R N A M E D. Uh, Gray. G R E Y. There you find me there, yo. I like that. <laughs> You said Let so much. Yeah, <laughs> I was in the zone. I was just listening. Like, Let's go follow this nigga. Too. This. Right. Uh, my name is Nick Sanders. Um, what do you need? Uh, Instagram is what's called Brian. Uh, Facebook, Nick Sanders. Uh, you know, we're just trying to make our city great one, one way at a time, different angles. You know, Absolutely. And, and then just add to this uh, uh, beautiful environment. Uh, it's always comfortable shade. over here. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's the fact that he got in the microphone talking all sexy. Like he was real, <laughs> he was real, you know, loud before the camera started. Did he got into his like I'm a, I'm he got into his mode. after nine? He was like, Yeah, yeah, you know. Hey, I man. Know watching. I gotta make sure you know what I mean. He already off-air. told he told his social media, so he gotta he gotta make sure he get that follow right, though. Cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> I say the wrong thing, Listen, all man. the followers are gone. Hey, only take one Ooh. one statement. That happened to me twice so far. Literally, I was driving yesterday, and I was coming home. I was at the studio yesterday. I was coming home. It was like 2 in the morning. And Oh, you lying. You just talked about that. No, and I told you I was not lying. Okay. <laughs> All right. Before I even go to this story, okay? Like, last week. Was it last week or the week before last? Week before last. Like, the week oh, before oh, last, oh, yeah, I was so. in the studio, and I was literally in the studio until, like, 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. So, I posted a picture in the studio, like, of the studio, and I was like, dear future husband, when I say I'm in the studio at 2 a.m., I ain't lying. He interpreted it as... I- I made a mistake. Oh yeah, she I lying. Thought she said no. I literally no. I thought <laughs> when I read it, it, it to me it was like hey, future husband. If I tell you I'm at the studio at two a.m., I'm mm-hmm. lying. You know what I'm saying? So when I so when I saw her today, I'm like, damn. You know that, that was funny. It's funny as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because she's telling the truth, and her future husband probably just like not gonna know, and then she gonna cheat on him. He just oh, you was at the studio. Okay. So you know, in 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 the rap game, a lot of artists was using that as their tag, even uh. My boy Fabulous got a real smooth song uh, off a of mixtape, and all the Fabulous fans probably know it. Yeah. And he talk about just being in the studio. In the studio, he talking about sounds like a little fun. He even got a little. Oh, you know exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh, I just gonna live, live in the studio. studio. No, Something Scoop, like Scoop Boy Q. Say I live in the studio. Oh yeah, okay. Fabulous got off of me. Yeah. So, yeah, but needless to say, I was legit in the studio. Right, allegedly. So that, yeah, okay. So, yeah, studio Ooh, time. You I know see how this about to go. No, I, no, I'm just. I told y'all like earlier, like I can smell the testosterone already. I, so, I apologize, Shay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I was in the studio yesterday, and the guy was doing an interview at two a.m. And I guess it's the quiet storm or something like ninety-eight yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't Sound listen like to the radio. So I don't know. So he was. That was real sexy. Yeah. They did an interview, and the dude got on there. And he was like, "Yeah, you guys, I'm so happy to be here." And they was like, "Wait a minute, sir." You, we gotta. <laughs> you too hype, bro. You too hype. Right. We gotta relax. You. He literally was like, "No, nah, you know, we gotta let the ladies get in a bubble bath and they all." So right. now Drink I just champagne feel like I gotta turn this show into like a nine p.m. like after hour set because you really came on here, so I don't like keep sweat. Like, <laughs> you, you, the you definitely was the light skin keep sweat for real. Hey, man. <laughs> 
see that? He said, "Welcome. How y'all doing?" Sponsored by Ebony Oil. I don't like a sex operator. <laughs> I don't Ebony know. Oil. How does that be? Ebony Oil. <laughs> so y'all, I sent them a few things. I sent y'all a few things. Mm-hmm. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I looked at the homework. You no, know yeah, I did. looked at the homework. Yeah, I looked at it. And you know, yes. I haven't been sending stuff out lately. Lately, I've been like, we going with the flow. We just gone. But today, yeah. I was like, all right, cool. I got a few things I need to get off my chest. So, what y'all want to start with? Y'all want to start with Russia? Go, y'all want to start this. with? Yeah, we can go with order. We can go with uh, diplomacy and uh. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. First of all, show your phone to the camera because I just need them. To Man, see. Go ahead, stone on them real yeah, quick. Dog. I just oh, you know, everybody because they always think see that, this uh, tablet that he they got. They always think that it's iPhone that that can do the thing. When you walk around with a mini iPad, you know, through, from Samsung. It's, it's a oh, it's oh, thing. oh, you know, oh. Yeah. You know, I, I like, I like electronics. Eventually, mm-hmm. I'm sure iPhone gonna do the same thing. I hope so. Sure. They're gonna come out, it's gonna be like a triple pallet tablet. It's gonna be like why you fall in three ways, you know, doing them. It's gonna be a triangle so it can stand up by itself. And you you won't even have a RGM port. They're gonna take that away for y'all. But you only gotta do wireless charging to make you pay eighty dollars for that. That's so trash. Yeah, I I really gotta say I don't like the way he just I keep my Samsung. I got this FS20, but I broke my screen so long ago. I got on my truck uh in October 2020, and I ever since then I've been rocking with the same camera screen. The crazy, <laughs> the crazy pictures and all, bro. It's, I've been on beautiful shots, and I'm like, damn. Have a, it's called commitment, market, right? It's called commitment. That's yeah. definitely commitment too. I'm tired of the cell phone switch, man. I'm a uh, switch cell phones so many times. The last got a thing, man. Think about how many cell phones you go through, and then on top of that, I didn't have the ones that fell in the swimming pool. Yeah, that's what that's what they make some water resistance now. You know, just yeah, like, I, done, just keep I adding, literally um, dove in the ocean and took a video under the water with my iPhone. Really, and it that's, came out with that's straight one with the, saltwater. Yeah. That's like, one of the best settlement points, I think, with an iPhone. Yeah, they that, act so sensitive sometimes. You seem like a person at wrong angle, they crack, it's like all glass, and then you could throw it in the Pacific Ocean, and now you're straight. Yeah, well, I, like literally, I yeah. got a video. I think I was in a DR with my friend, and I was in the pool, and I had on the hell of my swimsuit, hello, because I am mm-hmm. underwater, and it got a whole video of me in the water, <laughs> coming up the water, and it was like. Titty, titty the camera, they just say hello. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, I'm talking about that, uh, yeah. this ain't salt water, yeah, that, yeah. Salt water yeah. titty action, yeah. But, I um, not salt water, titty. you know, no, nah, I, yeah, I mean, shit, that's, that's, what you, Lake, that's what you Lake get Lake when she sweat. I, I would rather have that than Lake Michigan, especially Lake, Lake, Lake Michigan, Nick. Or any mm. lake at that, shit, I'd rather have that salt water titty first. I mean, at least it's been, at least it's been, uh. First of all, I did sports, okay? So I, I dated athletic women. And you that's know, a lot sometimes, of salt right. That's a lot of salty titties. It I, is. I, I dated so I, I, I didn't taste it that. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it's really not that bad. You need to suck some titties after them track meets. Yeah, you know, you know I was catching really that. Of course, she got the degree. She got a degree in, 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 in Man. titty juice. Hey well, y'all coming in. Hey yo, y'all. A concoction. So yeah, the, uh, 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 <laughs> with the... <laughs> what was going That's on? That's a nice combination. <laughs> it's a concoction there on tonic water. After no, that. I don't want to hear that. It's not it, a margarita it's, titty. It's, it's a salt with, a with a salt on the rim. It's, 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 but it's it's stale. It's stale as a sore throat. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm a whole so stressed. lot better after the track piece. The niggas wonder why I'm blowing about on the track. You ain't you ain't tasting no uh, no, no, no salt nipple, nigga. That's why you dehydrated. I'm oh, in yeah. here. First of all, that's true. You know what? So these these so over there in Russia. Now I ain't talking no shit about Russia because I don't want nobody taking my name to Putin because he 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 he, he up, answers Matthew? DMs. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker Do answer to, nah, Putin don't be Do playing we? with me. That's why nigga everybody in Russia that follow him don't put no bad press on this shit. And his comments are open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he get a thousand likes an hour. That motherfucker. I ain't talking shit about that man. Like he bought his business, yeah, and we I need to stay that. the fuck out of that too. I I that. <laughs> but no, you know how much he bought his business. Uh, just you know, I follow reports and things that I've been looking at Putin, and I think I've just been in because I grew up around my grandparents and, and re- watching news as a really young kid and just sitting in front of TV with you know at the time fifty and six year old grandparents and just watching you know all these countries, but then looking at Vladimir Putin, dude been whacking folks. Or for a minute, I've seen two s- different situations where he poisoned folks, and he poisoned. He an ex KBG soldier. Yeah, he yeah, he the yeah. first he the first exactly president to actually be like a real soldier. Yeah, I ain't talking about like so his Russell. tactics are, yeah. are yeah. I mean the plutonium or whatever he's using to uh to poison is real deal. He poisoned this one cat at a cafe, 
this one uh i think he was a spy or he was something but he was in the either in the kgb or he was associated with someone where you can look the story up if you in the game that's what you get that's what happened and then he got he got a uh he got somebody else and he caught them it was a, a daughter and um a, a father and daughter situation i think he caught both of them but i think somebody survived but yeah dog you playing no games once yeah, again that further yeah, back that further your chicken wings at jj uh, <laughs> you be at, what's the spot you get wings at now kicking in your ass be at bar 107 wow you mess around in there. <laughs> further <laughs> further reinforces why i don't want my name tagged none of that Man, shit. he do not play shit. so I be eating at the crib for <laughs> 15 I years could. i could like like old boy so with now i'm scared to go to pete's my tomatoes <laughs> damn the oh man that's why i'm growing my own shit from here on out <laughs> i thought i found a tub of play-doh and shit i was man uh during the pandemic because you know that shit lasts forever i was thinking about eating that shit hell no, no. that's just that non-toxic it, it get that <laughs> no. bad bro it's a wrap yeah, it's a wrap uh, y'all wasn't scared over. nah nah no nah, you know what you're jacking no let me tell you i when it got real serious when like the whole world when everything like shut down shut down i think it's when i got I was like, all right, this is serious. Well, that's like, the point I'm talking about when I when, I'm talking about when it was and like yeah, the apocalypse. Yeah, when it, it was quiet, bro. It was kind of ah, cats wasn't getting wet. But just think about this though. All right, just real, real talk. Just think about hey, this. Hey, think about this. I know we ain't lost track of how you know life happens. We lose family members, things happen, we lose all type of folks. Man, folks was not dying, like for real. Like, I mean, besides folks during the COVID, but niggas wasn't dying. Excuse me, our our people and other people weren't dying right. in car accidents or nothing. Say, it, this is your safe space. Yeah. Oh, People wasn't you. out on the road. <laughs> People went out on the road. Niggas weren't getting shot. It was like, remember they, uh, we went like a whole month, like, no it was like no murders and yeah. shit. Yeah. Then all of a sudden shit opened back up. And I was saying, as soon as things opened back up, I was like, man, it's about to go down. Cause all these fools, and it was even, it was new fools that came out. We had terrorist attacks, shootings, casting blue. Man, motherfucker down in uh, Nashville blew up. It was like the start of shit. They do blew up shit on the street, some terrorist attack. They everything being slid underneath the rug. Now on top of that, the dude out in New Jersey who went crazy. Y'all don't even know if y'all seen these stories. Dude in, in New Jersey that went crazy and got the uh killing all them people in New Jersey and rolled through a neighborhood, rolled through a, a city with a big ass uh box truck crashing into folks. All this shit was going on. Uh, I just saw the only thing I saw about the cars was the one that was close to here, and then it was another one someplace else. And I was like, people really driving cars through the rains. Oh yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But do, do I know that, somebody. I know somebody was out there celebrating the football game. My bad, bro. It's all good. Uh, yeah. yeah, during that time, and uh, you know, blessed some people. Uh, during that time, I did nothing. I didn't. I didn't watch no. I didn't. I didn't watch no. No news. I didn't go out nowhere. The canned goods that I had. That's what I fit when I fest on, and I. I. I didn't want to hear nothing. I, I would just. Know. I'm a doomsday prepper. I have a, a lot of bullets. I have a lot of spam. And ramen noodles. You still I, eating that pork, my brother? Bro, I it, when the when 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 this happened, I'm happy religion is out the window. When when Mad Max when Mad Max time comes, oh man, religion is not gonna hold no space. It's so man. if you if you Muslim and you get hungry, you gonna eat pork if it's available. Oh yeah, hey, oh yeah, you right. Especially oh, wait, if it's your first year well, being in the nation of Islam. I ain't. I ain't. I'll just. I'm eating all that shit. I'm eating ass if it, I, if it lets me to another day. <laughs> we, ladies, if I to ladies, day. if you hey. around this man during the during apocalypse, the, during you're the apocalypse. going to get hey, your chest get naked. destroyed. When y'all look, when y'all look over there and be like, groceries. when y'all look over there and be like, damn, look at look at King Nazir. He got a big. He, he, he moved into the Capitol House now with with so many women. That's cool. He made That's booty. why. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a strength. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a, a, <laughs> that booty. I'm gonna remember to report that to all the people who was tripping over you. I'm gonna have a strength. Time you I'm gonna have a crazy. I'm gonna have a strength. Ten did. men. So, Nazir ladies, gray, let's recap. Let's recap on Nazir. So, My between goodness. his two visits, we recognize that he like thick chicks, like chubby chicks. Okay? Uh, yeah, I don't want to see no rib. He cage, um no he cage. eats apparently he eats booty. Okay, so to survive. to survive. That means if you don't cook. Do you if you don't cook surviving weekend something gonna happen as long as you cooking we good but if you stop cooking Ooh, they gonna be no they gonna be able to create like i got no groceries <laughs> no right. groceries right, but i got some groceries <laughs> place, naked in the kitchen no groceries i don't have no groceries keep coming up missing utensils why right, we got 10 right. you know what it is every time you come here you ain't eating you better eat and, you and, and also i want to say this too <laughs> about the eating ass if it's the love of my life yo or at least i think so because <laughs> about the love of the love of your life for the moment you love it life no nah, not for the moment yo not for the moment you got i got at least like that's why i got a six month rule after the six months i don't know if it's something there you know what i'm saying but if if i believe i'm like damn you know what i ride for this woman you know what i'm saying and she got my back 
if, if she be like, hey, yo, Nazi, I need you to do me a favor tonight. I'd be like, oh, what's up? You want to put your car in the garage? No, you know, I was just thinking out saying some stuff. You, you know, you think you might, you. you know, lick my booty. Yeah. It got to be a request. First of all, it's not just any. No, it can't no, no, no girls no, no, walk no, no. up to yes me be no. like, hey, Nazi, I want to yes get ass no. licked. Yes no, no, no. Yes no. Like it got to be a request. Yeah. Like, you never just feel it in your spirit to do it by yourself. Oh, uh, one time I was close, but. I, I wouldn't even fuck it, but I thought about it. I was like, man, if I could have sex right now, I would, because that's how bad I wanted it. <laughs> but as far as far as that, no, I don't go down. No, yeah, I need fucking disclosures. And it's certain shit I don't like, man. Like a quick story. I was a, a victim of rape by a young lady. Cause you know, once yeah, you, you tell me that once you say no, it's rape after that. You know what I'm saying? And she Wait, was you serious when you said no? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, I was just I had to ask that. Hey, you know, well, look, look, I'm out here throwing. Look, he can look, like, <laughs> look. I know he gave me the look, the serious look too. I seen the glare that was serious. He's like, absolutely, absolutely. I said, all right, yeah. I let me. What's it? Is it's she quick, took it. It's I want to hear that. It wasn't no. It wasn't no take it. It was know? this me too hashtag me too story and no disrespect to me too, yeah, yeah, but this what? is a me too. Story. A me no, too. because because seriously, she she crossed the line. So um, you know, she you know provided. She was like, hey. Now, Zara, you know, I wonder if, you know, let me see what your zipper made out of. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, all right, <laughs> Which cool. is like, was that the actual commentary? Like, let me see you what know, the zipper is made out of? I, you know, I, I, I use the word penis. I can't on your zipper. Hey. So, so, <laughs> Craig uh, said, tell your story, bro. <laughs> thank you, man. I appreciate it. So, I, you know, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm so, you know, I'm conscious by myself. I'm like, you know, I really appreciate it. But the last time I took a shower was at seven. You know what I'm saying? And it's 11 o'clock. Let me just kind of, you know, I don't want to fuck up the mood, but let me just jump in the shower real quick and, you know, hopefully we can keep the magic. So I, I get in the shower, get in there, boom, 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 boom. I come out and I'm like, you know, should I walk out there just with the towel or should I just like put underwear on first, walk out there and then take it <laughs> off? Craig you know said I mean? she was a red flag. <laughs> you was thinking about all that in the yes. process? Like for real? Absolutely. First of all, do you not know who you're talking to? Yeah, like? I, I know, but I'm just thinking like, <laughs> he, like yeah, he, he was really breaking this down. Yes, yeah. no, that's... I, I didn't know how to come by. He's literally told me that yeah. he has this train of thought about situations every time. Yeah. He was like, I, you the wrong? last podcast you was on, he was like, you ain't wrong? I can't just, I can't just jump in the bed with somebody. I, I can't, like, yo. It's been two and a half hours since I took a shower. You know, I've been sweating a little I've bit. I've been sweating. I oh, think I was in the car. All time. Exactly. Two and a half hours. Yo, and then I mean, I was, but so, it depends okay, on what so, type of sweating we doing. Like, but just, just think about it. Yeah. Just think about it. So you take a shower because you know you're about to go over to this girl house. Right. When you go over to the chick house, right. y'all watch a movie that's two and a half hours long. So you need to take a shower. All sweating. You know what I'm saying? All sweating like, well, well, not I mean, because this is the thing. That's why you got to position yourself. You know, it's not the fact that I don't want to cuddle on you, but I just want to accumulate more heat between my, my my thighs to cause more sweating. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm sitting up here and I got the hoop and shorts cocked out where the fan is, so I'm trying to make sure everything nice and cool and everything. So now she cold because she anemic. <laughs> Ladies, we could do a talk right now. Would you like to be cold as a motherfucker or have stank balls on your neck? You know what I'm saying? But why would they be stank though? They just because be you've been boys. sitting up there sweating. I'm How not bad a, I'm are not you a sweating human. if you're not moving. First, let me let me say this. I used to be the stanky kid. Okay, so I am. So you're traumatized. Absolutely, I wash my gotcha. ass. I got to yo. You know what I mean? So. If I'm looking at her couch and you got nice material like this, I'm like, damn, let me try to see if I can find a bar stool to sit on. Because I want to accumulate more, especially if I think she might hook me up. I don't know what type of lady she is. You know what I mean? So, like the young lady, I'm thinking, you know, you come over to the dorm room, we chilling, everything going to be all right. So then she come up, she, you know, made a move. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know what? I appreciate this. Let me take a shower first. I, I'm not, I'm a... I'm corny. I'm a freshman in college. I, I'm afraid to get kicked out because my parents ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? I can't fuck up the scholarship money. So I go wash up. I'm thinking like, damn, should I go boxers? I was like, fuck it. I, I, I put the hoop and shorts on. So then if I get out there and she change her mind, I don't look like a pig. <laughs> so I walk out there and she was like, damn, you got to do all that. Just this, this, this and that. And I'm like, uh, yes. You know, so she explained to me like it was her time of the month, but she was extremely uh, horny and she was like yo you always clean and you know you're going to practice you stay quiet and shit your room clean so she she wanted to take the boy on so I was like oh okay that's cool take, take it on the what okay you need to give me contacts like what she uh, trying to give you yeah Felicio to, oh okay I thought she was trying to run a red light no 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 I, you know she could tell by how, how clean my bathroom was and I'm not I'm not doing that oh. 
So she was like, yeah, you know, and I just I'm not think he's cool. Around, and man. she was a junior, and I'm a freshman, so I'm be- I'm I- I'm 18. I'm- well, first of all, when you a man, you turn 18 at-, at 13. First of all, so I'm already a man. You know what I mean? People but with kids, 22. your kids is not grown at 13 if he's a male. Okay, man, black man out here in society, you 18 instantly. You know what I'm saying? So I I grew up harsh. You know what I'm saying? Harsh neighborhood, and so it- well, harsh predicaments. <laughs> there was landers in that neighborhood, but. Um, you know, so I'm, you know, I'm 18, she 22, you know what I mean? So at that time, I just lost my virginity probably about a year before I got to college. But <laughs> she's a 22 year old junior. Craig, yeah. Craig, you might be the one for me, my guy. <laughs> Craig <laughs> said, just put a towel down, just no white ones. He a monster. I called him, I called, I called people, what's his, what's his gentleman name? I call Craig like you I got the like lights Craig. off. You don't know what's going, <laughs> what's going on. You like, you man, is that an ocean? Or <laughs> Craig, that... Craig is a Shit, cowboy. Is the red sea. I call yeah. him what I'm cowboy. dealing with. No, 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 thanks, man. Because I, I only send it there. <laughs> but you know what? He said that... it ain't bad if you look at the crime scene. Just be like Ray Charles. Uh, it's it's for like batteries. Craig don't it? South, yeah, you get to smell like batteries, like batteries, some type of iron. Tinsel. And, you, you, yeah. yeah, yeah. Iron, I, I don't. I've only ran a red light like once or twice and each iron. time like honestly in the process of it you stop bleeding that's crazy so, like if you take a shower before and then y'all start, and put a like, cap of vinegar be, hot, hot be, vinegar or some shit they say it might be a little do. blood but it ain't like that i'm sure it's a way that they can you know that thing down there i, I ain't gonna lie i detoured my period by a whole week drink drink doing vinegar that? and shit no by uh taking birth control i knew uh, that it was coming and i was going out of town not not me not on today i, t- I popped them hoes like tic tacs that's crazy you can manipulate Shit. that like that yeah you start you but do three two, the first day and then you do one each day see where i just seen some today talking about women they got on uh birth control at 14 and now they got all these like other issues yeah i got i got fibroid cysts for real yeah and then it's yeah. like depression and all this stuff that came with it but you get think they they took our our women you know Black women, I shouldn't be. I guess I shouldn't be like that's okay time, because though. people do it all the time. But yeah, I, they took our black women, <laughs> right, and put them Say. our young black girls and put them on these uh, um, birth controls at a young age. Yeah, obviously. And then, but then too, it's just like it. you think they go through that process or y'all go through that process at a young age, and then then you got to deal with the pregnancy aspect, and then you go through the process. You know, for the ones that have had that was on birth control, stopped it, had pregnancy, or got pregnant, and then had to deal with the pregnancy issues, and then the lack of care inside the hospital so it's like damn you know you do really feel for women when they got to go through all this shit when it comes to you know dealing with not only just the birth control ever had a pregnancy in your life and the complications of that but not only you get pregnant you got to deal with the complications of that. that's why we're on top of the bullshit the, the niggas that bullshit niggas they come sometimes get pregnant by. that's why we're and shout out to the good uh fathers though shout out to all y'all you great fathers i ain't got nothing to get y'all but sometimes yeah. they, they complications come before i respect they even... women by wearing condoms all the time that is a respect that that's, is a that's respect. respect that's real respect real I, yeah yeah i had women tell me hey, like listen, oh, i'm gone. allergic to latex i'm like, okay well, polyurethane you know i'm not what allergic what I mean? to it i have to say they got they, they, got, they, they definitely got non-lex yeah, yeah. 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 they got non-lex i ain't like messing with goat i ain't messing with the goat i'm not allergic to them but it definitely like condoms like latex it gives me a weird reaction to them yeah i think latex just mess folks up anyway latex ain't the best it's like you know you got to think about what condoms was made with your dick like yeah i'm gonna go ahead but then that polyurethane it it does its I haven't ventured off into any skins or whatever. Yeah, I don't got. want a lamb skin. Yeah, I just I look at it, it be yeah. like latex you know, free. I'd be like, cool. Yeah, I get that lamb, raven skin. Lamb chops, y'all be eating so shit. You get some lamb chops, take your ass to dinner. You get some lamb in your stomach. Then you get some lamb in your stomach after the dinner. <laughs> you so get it from the top it, and you get it from the bottom. It seems like it works. <laughs> So motherfucker can tell you like I don't want a lamb skin kind of in me like bitch we just ate we just ate lamb ten chops. lamb chops it's already in you I ain't eating lamb chops because I just can't get past the I just can't lamb chops that was the name of that damn uh, I love PBS lamb chops show. and I just had some goat curry the other yeah, day I'm good see I don't do lamb or goat and I'm a I'm a Capricorn so I'm not about to eat a goat shit that shit is disrespectful they got my, weird eyes so I can't son. eat them fuck I'm gonna eat a hey, goat listen, for it. I mean a cow was, was enough and shit them that cows goat be good as hell was delicious do you understand uh, me you I, ain't when, never had jerk goat when I can look an organism oh, in his eyes and I can't see his soul I'm not eating it you ever you ever stared at a goat in the eyes exactly yep. yeah yeah you yep. yeah at the at the no, pumpkin, real shit. No, at the know, pumpkin farm might be, yeah you might yeah, you might be right but you you see a goat eyes how the motherfuckers look no thank you but the cow was kind of like the same way though too the cows kind of fucked up they should just spread a little further apart i think the difference with the goats 
Because you can see the ghost directly right there. No, the ghost can see directly into you. Yeah, like, and nigga, I can't see your soul. Nigga, I ain't nigga. doing it. And, that's yeah, it. But, and that go that same way with a woman. If, <laughs> if I look at your eyes, you What is the one no that the cats be out there uh, 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 doing the uh, uh, bestiality with? Is it the oh uh, no, let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? No, yo, well, whatever they get their hands on. They, they out of order for that shit. Like, nigga, what, what what gets you to the go to stuff. a barn? Well, well let me let a me barn. But let me let me revisit to this woman taking advantage of me. So yeah, come on. So because I, I gotta get this out because I need to tell my story. Yeah. So we need this recorded. <laughs> it's on, it's on, it's on. It's on YouTube. So you know, she was like, yo, let me, you know, whatever, whatever. And, uh, you know, because I, I just want to. And, and you know, she know I, I didn't talk to people, so she ain't worried about her business being out. Because she, she did claim herself to be a lesbian. I'm throwing that out there as well, though. Oh, you call one of them. She, yeah. So, you know, I practicing them. I understood. You know, it's cool. I, I understood the assignment. So I uh, I sat there, and, and she was like, <laughs> she was like, boy, you got drawers on? And I'm like, damn, I fucked it. That's the first thing I thought I had. I was like, y'all should just go out here in the towel and shit. But you know, she was like, she started clowning me and shit. I'm like, damn. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, you talking shit now. But you know, I, you know, my penis gonna be in your mouth in a second. You know, <laughs> that's how I got over it. <laughs> but my feelings kind of hurt. And then, and then, I, and women too. And just put it out there for me. I don't know if all males feel like that. But if she's having a regular conversation to me while my penis is in front of her, that makes me shy. Like when don't like, it was out. You had it in her face. Out. It was right here, oh. and she was why talking that, to why me. Why does that make you shy? What if we're just trying to make you comfortable? Let, let's look at the position. All oh, that I don't the, need. This, I don't the, need all that extra talk. My bad. Go the, ahead. But this is why I'm, I'm like I am. So oh. it's like she just talking to me, like like clowning me about me wearing drawers and hooping shorts. Why my penis is in her face? I'm she, like, you know what that you know what that sound like? That sound. I like thought she was, she just was uncomfortable. She was nervous. She was nervous, and she was like, okay. Yeah. Well, let me you tell you, make that uncomfortable. You know, they Friends sometimes they, lesbians are very good at giving head. But, uh, this, man, this, look, this brings it to this point. So she, she they be craving for about time talking, they do it. She talking to me like clowning me, and I'm uh -huh. like, so I said it out loud. I was like, okay, well, you laughing now, but my my penis is about to be in your mouth in a few seconds. So she really started laughing because you know we had that type of relationship. So she's like dying laughing, and her head is on my lap while my penis is, which is now. Now you're right. Mm -hmm. And she's laughing. So in my head, I'm like, damn, she laughing right in my penis face. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh my God. Come on, so he's offended. But so, so then she laughed. I'm just like, oh man. You know, I'm just like, man, I, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it happened. And then I'm like, yo, at this point in my life, like I said, I just lost my virginity a year ago. So I just went from uh, like middle school, just one day tournaments. And now I'm in the NCAA final four and shit you know what i'm saying like i went from like eh, yeah to, somebody somebody told me your nickname was speedy yeah, yeah. for a reason yeah and, and it translated yeah, somebody a lot commented through my under the thing it was like speedy yeah. and i was like i yeah, think this speedy is yeah, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. fast and track so oh, this um, <laughs> that's yeah. Fuck. yeah yeah i'm sure it's still i'm sure it's still there yeah yeah it's if, still yeah, there if, like all right address you, the cat, i ran track i wasn't with two of my two of my closest people he ran with my he ran my cousin uh Josh. Josh. Yeah. And then he ran with one of my best friends, Dante. They y'all ran from Milwaukee. What was it called? Milwaukee. What's the team? Mustangs. It was Mustangs. Yep. Yeah. They ran. This was back oh two, oh three, oh four. Like that. Oh three, oh four, oh five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was yeah. They was running a minute. Then Josh was the youngest. So Josh is shout out to to Josh. We uh Man, nice ain't connected in a minute. Love you, boy. But yeah, uh he dude. yeah, he, yeah. That's cuzzo. That's my that's my close uh, blood cousin. But yeah. He ran and Josh, he kind of ran away from the track shit, but he was fast, but these niggas they was dedicated to that shit. Oh yeah, and my boy Josh, too, I think my boy Josh Robertson that uh went to Nicolay with me. I think y'all was you in the same Chris circle too, right? too. Chris who? Chris um Umber. Umber. He light skin, dark skin, Chris. Like my color. Your color. What high school he went to? I don't know, but I seen y'all in the picture. Oh, that's your cousin? No, that's not my cousin. It was dark I said skin. you ran with him. Oh, hell yeah, I did. Hey, and what's dark skin folks that uh went to Dominican that ran? He a little older. Demi. Demi. Demi's that nigga too. Shout out to Demi. Dark, you, Demi dark skin. He, dark, am dark I skin? Dark, no, oh. Demi's from Nigeria. Demi. Is Demi Nigerian? Yeah. That's why he ripped like that. He 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 from Nigeria <laughs> and uh no he because he was he didn't have he an ounce said, of fat on him. That's no. why he ripped like that. He, he, he had like he had like one percent fat Demi on ripped. him. Like he's still like that, bro. We was in no, we went to Houston uh two years ago, bro. Was that last year? No, two years ago, 2019. We went to Houston. What's this? 2022? Three years ago. Shit. Yeah. We went to <laughs> we went to it was coming up on uh three years. We went to Houston, bro, and we had a good ass time, bro. Demi just had the energy, bro. But then we had a little hashback 
like rental and the chicks I was with, like we ran out of space. Demi got into the back of this hashback, bro, in this spot and was like chilling back there, bro. I would have been like claustrophobic. <laughs> I think his African kicked in and he was just like chilling, bro. Like, like how, how far are we away? You know what I'm saying? He was like in good spirits. Nigga, I would have been back there, like, nigga, we gotta get about it. Demi, bro. Like, Demi has all Houston, it's hot. Demi has always, yeah, he was he yeah, we was uh we was fast, like yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that was yeah, doing yeah, them days, fast. it was it was the trenches. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now she laughing in your penis. Oh, okay. 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 So yeah, she penis. laughing. I'm just like, so I'm just like, uh, you know, we both laughing or whatever. So then she could, you know, start working her her uh, her widget widget tree. So I'm I'm up in there. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> you know, because <what> <laughs> because you know I didn't know how like it was fire. And I had to stop keeping my knees because I kept, cause, you know, because I was like, oh, oh, like I I was giddy you know what i'm saying Got like you. it's christmas and then she's like laughing and she's talking to me while doing it yeah so like now i'm just like oh i should just like marry her like i can i can like right now with the money that i saved up from the checks i've been getting uh as an athlete i was like well i got a, i got enough for like three months in an apartment and i just figured out from there and she was just like she was just like oh yeah 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 you know what i mean and um and, and it came to a point where i was like oh I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting ready to finish. Mm-hmm. I, I need to give her a heads up. So, so I guess she must have sensed like me being like, oh, okay, I think it's time. Like, yeah. so she like stopped, and then like so then my then my my feet came off the ground. Okay, now she started levitating. <laughs> no, my my feet, my feet came off the the couch, and I had a really nice couch, and, and my feet came off the couch. So as my my he came up a little bit. She like grabbed me, you know, the, you know, the staff, including the fellas. Mm-hmm. So now she got the, the triplets and, and, and she like kind of got me like there. So, you know, as my 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 feet kind of my head is like back, you know, and, and you told her to stop. No, nah, I just thought she, I, I don't know too much about receiving head. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what goes on i just know that it feels great you know what i'm saying so i'm just okay. like and, right. and it's feeling great so i don't know what type of shit she need to do but i just knew as i was up i saw the her ear like this and she came towards far beyond the, the gooch so i'm because you know i'm like i'm like oh shit and i'm looking down and she got me and i was just like oh hey, hey all right now you know what i mean so i'm like I'm like, I was like, yo, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh, so she got you the all the way. She all the my, way. Yeah. She, she went to the grocery. She got, we got your grocery. Bro. <laughs> three times. I caught three full tensions with her tongue, yo. Man. She, Ooh, made, she gave you a tongue lashing. And the only reason why she got the other two off, because I caught the hiccups. Because I, I was trying to yell, and I, <laughs> and I coughed at the same time. And it made me go like. Wait, like, what like, school oh. did you go to? University of Houston. H town. Yeah. And, and so Wait, I, I was just talking about Houston too. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, I was down. Hey there, man, y'all, shout out I, to Houston, boy. Yeah. I was right down there when y'all was down there. <laughs> Craig said you got to be careful oh, out here, G. Yeah, you got to be careful. That's why. That's why was you in Houston? Uh, three years. You did. I'm still it over for you. Okay. Yeah. So wow. you so, was down there for three years? Yeah. You still like Houston? So I turned pro. Yeah, I like Houston. But after that, I I, I could I could barely you know be alone out there by myself because i didn't and she was a little bit bigger than me you know what i'm saying she was because you like bigger no she was big it's because you long it's okay i got you no it's over for you she was bigger because she was six feet she was what yeah she was six feet too damn so she was big and she was six foot she was she was she she was a volleyball player oh i'm about to say Uh, she was she was a shot put she was cornbread thick she was a volleyball player in houston and my my thing was that <laughs> since I don't have no, I didn't have no no. no she like, took it. I didn't yeah, have you no. Right, you got right, bro. <laughs> bro, okay. you definitely, definitely got, got took. Right. You, you then, definitely and, got and, took. And, and while I'm fighting, I can't really fight because I I don't got I my hands to get on shit. And she's six foot three, bro. She was a damn. I am. So no, so you went and gambled that I, day. I felt, <laughs> yo, I felt helpless because my feet was off the ground. I was like, man, she could fold me up right now. Like you know, you wrestle with your brothers. You know when you get your legs up, they gonna fold you. Yeah. And yeah, speedy bro. I knew back then. Yeah, you was slim, but you was you strong. But I was still was, bitch pressing like three. Yeah. I was like three twenty five was my. But my, she, but she was probably about three twenty something. But, but she, she had the leverage. Yeah, she was two hundred. Oh yeah, because we legs, we, women legs ain't no joke, man, bro. One of the most beautiful and deadliest things ever, and shit. Yeah, yeah. People don't know you. A woman could just, if she ever just want to be like, yeah, 
She could pop, pop your I just see like, me move a whole saying? couch with my thighs. Yo, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Let me tell you, that's why yeah. That's tell why me. I got an invention that I made for males. When you perform a head on your lady and you're real good, and to keep her from like like choking you out. You got a, a, you got a D clamper? Yeah, you need, you need a little brace, brace that go right, right in between. Neck, man. And then it'll stop it. Stressful. Yeah. Stressful. So I got taken advantage of until that day. It makes me, you know, anytime it happens. I flash back to that moment. I'm like, I gotta keep my feet on the ground. So now I scoot the dresser over. So you got a PTSD underneath there to keep my feet from coming off the ground. Yeah, PTSD. Hell yeah, post traumatic yeah. bum lick. P- P- yeah, man. PTSD. Got post-traumatic. me three full rotations, PTSD. and it made yo. yo, and it made my you know penis jump, and I and I I questioned myself for a long time, but then I, I finally came to. Your G spot is. I know where it's at, but I'm all right. It, it, he said, "I ain't yeah. never got the experience that." No, don't, because if she would have, if my knees would have touched my eye sockets, it would have been over with. You could every <laughs> every innocent I had. Nah, you got all your male supporters over here. Like, I appreciate <laughs> this y'all. man been through it. They I have been through it. I appreciate y'all help, yeah, man. I, Jasmine, I, I tagged I you been, in the comments. Did you see it online? I've been pinned down. Don't yo. That's tough. So okay, so let's transition. You know, right? Hey, not, look, not, you gotta finish Russia not, though. Yes, let's just, so apparently, you guys, in uh, the in the article that I sent out, yeah. despite everything that's going on, despite literally being in a war country, and Man. it's not just right now, right. they've been war tone for a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did y'all see the little uh TikTok that was explaining it? Man, about and she the, was uh, like, yeah, yeah. uh, she was like, Ukraine was basically in the became an domestic country. Yeah, yeah she was like, she was in a domestic thirty some years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah she was in a domestic are. relationship, and she was like, you know, for thirty years she been yeah. living her best life, and you know, yeah. um, sudden Russia, whatever. Yeah. So they had a little story. So apparently, in the midst of all of this, the people who are guarding the borders and are letting people through and trying to evacuate is still a way to be racist. Yo, yeah. apparently they are not allowing re- Africans to leave out of the country Put they're them, basically like putting the them back, back the in queue yeah, yeah they're, they're putting back them back in queue um the first thing i saw about it was a medical student from nigeria who was in um ukraine and they basically told Getting her degree. we let you ukrainians go first like you got to go to the back of the line no matter the fact that she had already been waiting five hours at the border so you mean to tell me in the midst of all of this you still have time to be racist like y'all what saying, y'all saying poor Ukraine. I ain't saying poor for nobody, but I can't sit down and eat a sandwich without getting uh stared at. I'll tell you that right now. Oh look, man, that's y'all business over there. Don't be freezing none of the man's money over there. They they got money over there, y'all got money over there. Leave them people alone, yo. That's what that's why you got armies for. And, and I'm sorry how it goes is, but whoever has the smartest army ends up winning. So get smart real fast and, and that, let them that's their business, yo. Yeah. <laughs> that's their business. If if I see my uncle. Beating on my auntie again, they grown. Not they grown. They grown. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Hey, Earl, y- your brother in here acting a fool. They ain't got nothing to do. I mean, I get it. However, comma, what I don't understand is in the midst of everything going on. Yeah, like, yeah, that's just yeah. You know, it's always time for racism. Yeah, yeah, it's time like, for racism. I, I cannot. I can't even dislike somebody who's wronged me in a situation that's something that's life bad. or death, you know yo. Like, you, life or death. Life or death. Like, like you got somebody outside chasing down the street with a gun, they trying to kill you. Yeah, you come so in here, sit down, man. And I mean, it's a few people who I want to slap flame from. When I say flame, yeah. I mean I, I got two people on my hit list, and I'm like, Lord, I promise you, <laughs> I'm gonna get my life right for real after I whoop their ass. Like it's it's two people, and but if it was a life or death situation, I would not have the time to be like worried about. It wouldn't that. even come yeah, in my, it like, even come like, my yeah. head, yo. It wouldn't yeah. even come in my I head. Got a few, I got a few. I want to put, you know. Hey man, come in this house, bro, before they yeah, come get yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't got no malice, bro. Like, like, uh, yeah, long, right. long, if you, long if you don't attempt to kill me, or you never threaten me in no type of way, and I just don't like you because how you wear your boots, I'm gonna save your life, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, and I agree with you. You know, it's a time and place for everything. So yeah. I guess that goes back to that, and just get back to what y'all was talking about. Uh, you know, within, well, hello, <laughs> um, within the, uh the uh, Russia and Ukraine. Just thinking back to just looking at, at a lot of these African. Uh, what do you call them? These African uh, immigrants. So I was looking earlier. They saw over four hundred some thousand immigrants over there. The only immigrants that were having issues with crossing the border were the African. African. So what it was looking like was that. Yeah, Syria. Yeah, and this was real. Like I was. So I read this one article right before I, you know, got here, and it was stating how they were looking at. Uh, so a, a Asian and a Middle Eastern uh, 
immigrant that's over there studying both said, oh, we didn't have any problems uh, crossing the border. Right. So we knew this was, we know this was personal. And it was to the point where, and I, I got a few quotes just that I was looking at and that just kind of pissed me off. So it's 24. Hanging out the phone right there. You gotta have it. I, got, I ain't see it, oh. but you got to have it. You got to have reserves. So we got one from a Shaniwe Mungbagu, a 24-year-old doctor from Nigeria who lived in the western Ukraine town of Ivano Frankis, if I think I don't know. Wait, is that is that African? Yes, oh yeah, that's nice. that's some Ukrainian. That's yeah. Ukrainian, but yeah. she said that she spent more than two days stranded at the Poland-Ukraine border, crossing in town of Medgia. I guess it's as Medgia, uh, Medgia, as the guards let Ukrainians cross, but blocked foreigners. All right, so there we go. The Ukrainian border guards were not letting us through. She said in the phone interview, in quote. Uh, excuse me, not in quote, but her voice trembling. So she was already bothered by this. So, and this excuse is two, three days later. Excuse me. Probably more than that. She said her voice, they said with her voice trembling, they were beating people up with sticks and tearing off their jackets. She added, they would slap them and beat them and push them to the end of the, the queue. It was awful. So, is, is y'all surprised? I'm, no, no, no. This not, is what it's not. No, that I know that's what the person saying, but I'm, it's not that I'm surprised. It's more of the fact that in this type of situation, you know what I'm saying? Like in this type of situation, there is no when Russia's coming to bomb you, there is no difference between who is who. Like, how do you effectively do your job Man, that's how as you a know. person? You know what I'm saying? That's right. how you know people check this out. Is, is dirty, yo. Right. Yeah. Filthy people, yeah. you know. Well, yeah, well yeah. you gotta think though. Let's let's keep it a buck. You know, this we ain't like nowhere. We, yeah. No, yeah, this we ain't like this, we, we ain't like yeah, on no continent. Just, yeah, yeah. So, we're not like so black anywhere. people no, are everywhere. True. Well, we're like well, Iceland we're Iceland probably the only place <laughs> where they like okay, everybody. Like, okay, let me let me take an example. So I literally was having a conversation with somebody and I was like, when you look at Christianity and religion, I said westernized countries and civil like people who have taken on the Western view of Christianity are the only people who recognize that Jesus who say that Jesus isn't white. Like if you go to Spain, all their portraits of Mary and baby Jesus is a black Jesus and a black because it's literally impossible for you to have oh, a Caucasian man walking through the desert. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but, see, yeah, but, know, but, but yeah. that's the point. A lot of white, that, people, a lot of white people here. And I just that, don't they, believe that but, you can pray to a black, well, to see a that, black Jesus. I like not, that point that you made because Spain, people from Spain don't think they're black. They're, they're Spaniard. They're not. They're Spaniard. Right. But, 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 but they're first black. Of all, first of all, to be honest, United States is the only place that has African-Americans. If you go to France, if you see a black France person there, they're French. Well, well, you know, that's, we you know could, there, there's not. We they have to be. We, we can spend we can spend like two, two hours on that. Yeah. Yeah, but but the main the main thing shit. is what I'm saying is if they look like us, no matter if you American or Nigerian, if, yeah, you, if you just look black, yo, yeah, if right. that we are the universal walk in the room, watch what that guy does. Man, look, yeah, I got a picture. Him? Look, I got a picture right here of a brother that looked like me crossing the border, and this look, and he holding on to two of his. They say he holding on to his brother. Let me find this picture. But I got some. love. You got some Kanye and Kim stuff. But look at this picture right here. You got these three. Look, they go me right there. They go, they go Q right there with his head down, or he right. Q if you want to be that cat. And then here, look, look, do it. Why gotta be that cat? Because he got braids. No, oh, well, you could be this cat. <laughs> Just look, y'all got the same hair, dude. Look, you right. look, Q could be in the middle, be in hell, and look at me. Bro, I'm right the here. elder. It look like this look like look. That's a that's a that's a black dude. He more than likely a mixed black dude, but he's Once like again, they, they look at oh you go to the end of the line too. Yeah, Yo, like I said, he we're, we're the... recognized on this planet Earth, no matter where you go, for somebody to watch us. To watch Except us. Africa. That's why they want us to come home. Wait, 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 even that. But you know, they, what, what, no, like, man, nah. Because I mean, we can go home, but at the same time, we're gonna be surveilled and, and, and surveillance, excuse me, and watched there, like look. Well, well, like I said, yeah. I, I just he came over here with a uh, hundred thousand cash and uh three Mercedes Benzes in a Tahoe. But I will I though. Moving to Gambia this month. Gambia, I, she wild. I, I, I would rather. Yeah, I'm going in May. Like I say, if I could, moving in, in May, I'm not I'm moving. I'm going to visit. visit. Yeah. But yeah, they build a Target out there. I'm there. Man, Ain't look, nothing yeah. stop me from I me. Mean, as long I don't need no Target. I'm going out there. The necessities. I'm gonna miss chicken wings and going to the bars. I'm gonna miss pulling. Oh, up. you can they do all that, that, all that, yo. I remember. I was there. What, yo, what do you think what? Africa looks no, like? No, I'm talking. Depending <laughs> on where we talking about going to, you talking about? I'm going through a city. And <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, to not the people that move leave here. Let's be honest. All right, Americans, Black Americans that leave. It's up for me. A lot of y'all not not going directly to the city. A lot of y'all moving in and getting those, you know, little. I don't want to say shack like houses, but y'all getting the joints that's built out of you know the light concrete 
you know, and whatever the case may be, you're paying for your land. But a lot of y'all move living real far from the city or will, will be living far from the city. Living in the city can be pricey depending on, you know, it's what type you of had, not in Gambia. I, see, I don't know nothing about Gambia, though. I looked at their currency exchange and, and what is it? it is 19 cents to our dollar. Really? Yeah. Okay. If right, you're coming good. over to a million dollars, you're good. Yeah, but, if but, you come up with five, I literally was like, "How much money should I take on the trip?" Like, and I looked at it yesterday with my best friend. I was like, "Oh, five hundred dollars. Oh, that's twenty five right. G's." Man, well, damn, that was a currency change on that. Nineteen yeah, man, I'm <laughs> to go over there and be buying all. Woo, we going right like, now. Nigga, I'm gonna buy, hey, I'm gonna buy an AK. I'm gonna break this <laughs> down into twenty <laughs> pieces. I'm gonna buy. I'm, I'm buying twenty AK. <laughs> look, look. How much this boat cost? I'm bringing two thousand dollars. How are you going to get it back, sir? Right. How are you going to get this boat man. back? Oh, man, man, look, hey, look, look, me and my nigga Q right That's here. That's why it's a boat. This nigga came over with three ARs, broke them down. I don't know how he got Water, here. All that shit. Yeah, look, we finna take this boat back. We got 10 things, gallons of gas. We gonna stop, dollars? we gonna stop in like, look, we gonna Bro, have to stop in like. On look, the coast look. of everything. <laughs> on the coast of everything. <laughs> with, with the straps, back. Q gonna get off with the night vision first. <laughs> all I'm that gonna... joy. <laughs> but it's the truth though, but, but, but to get back to the point, two black though, men from America <laughs> made it back to the states, right? On a with, yacht, on a yacht that they bought for 1500. <laughs> we'll be chartering, chartering uh rides it, from a walkie, it'd to be Chicago. a world record. And then now we got people trying to fight on that'd be man, a whole nother thing, joint. But yeah, but with the uh, <laughs> but what's going on, I'm not surprised, man. I'm glad it actually showing out because what's going on with Russia going at it with Ukraine is gonna pick up a lot of press, of course. And then in the midst of that, now you got, yo, even in over here, there's definitely race here just to let you know, you know, so I'm glad it's out there. And, and you know what's crazy? I was talking to somebody about it, and I they, they were in the military. Right. And they had been in stores in court, and I had, you know, a while ago. Yeah. And so I was like, well, how do you feel about everything that's going on? And he was like, am I supposed to be concerned about that? And I was like, what you mean? He was like, you don't understand that every other country except for America is always in he was like, it's always fights on the border. It's always America always at war. So, shoot, this ain't nothing. Yeah, America, America look, they just did, the they just, yeah, America just did a strike. So, during this time that since Ukraine and um, the Ukraine and Russia kicked off, there's been, uh, there's been a strike in uh, Somalia that the U.S. did. And there's been a strike that, that uh, uh, Syria that uh, did on, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, that, uh, that Israel dropped on, on Syria. What's up? Why not move to Jamaica? No, Besides the storms, it's a nice place to live. Man. Besides the storms, hey. dude was trying to get me to get a spot in Cancun. Well, I make. Well, I want to yeah. be on the side of the island that don't get the, right. The that's big the, waves. that's going to be the cheap, the cheap yeah. spots. No, no, no. See, yeah, he said the one with the hurricanes. That's what I'm saying. The one with the storms going to be the, uh, the cheap. Yeah, that's what. Yo. Oh hell no! What we know that? Wait, wait. How we don't know this? I feel like it's black. I feel black folks. I feel like no. black folks should know like certain things. Like, and this is my thing too. I know a lot of people like the last three, four years are new to traveling. I could tell a lot of people that ain't never been anywhere. And 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 a shout out to Milwaukee, man. I know a lot of y'all just hopping off the porch on this traveling shit. The way we grew up, some of us they I, I ain't never been to Disney World, but some of y'all went to Disney World. But then you know some people be thinking I be traveling a lot. I don't travel a lot. But then now I see a lot of people starting to get their they feet wet. They starting to travel. They going to all these events that's going on. You can't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out there, have fun, enjoy yourself. But don't go to these foreign countries with that Milwaukee mentality, or don't go down there thinking that you uh that you running shit just because you, you got a name, people, man. man. You can't go down there with the mentalities. I've been apprehended in Bahamas, and I wouldn't even own nothing. You know what I'm saying? I was I just kept having to take a piss. You know what I'm saying? This is real life shit. I just kept. I, I was taking a piss, and coincidentally, one of the times I went to get piss, it was by one of the Bahamian known drug dealers. And this nigga got me hot. I ran out the same bath. I was leaving the bathroom same as him. One of them niggas in a robe, you know, they out there. Yeah. Dog came in with the royal robe on, you know what I'm saying? Everything. With the thing tied up. And I'm in there with my cousins, Corey, Arnold, Chris, uh, some random chicks from Georgia. Shout out to the random chicks from Georgia that was scared to go to the club without us. <laughs> They, but they didn't, didn't want to give us no play on the boat. It was stupid. Anyway, um, I'm I'm protect protect you. You. man, look, right. look they protect. was on their way back to the boat. It's like probably eight, eight nine balls. o'clock at night. They turn around. They see me leading the pack. They're like, oh, we finna come with you. But the whole time, y'all acting weird. So this is like two or three days in. But anyway, that's another story. See, I got apprehended. So you can't go out of out the country. And if you're not watching Smuggled or Locked Up Abroad, which I've been locked, watching uh, since 
when I went on that cruise, that was in 2009, Locked Up Abroad been on for a minute. Mm -hmm. And that showing me right then and there. They ain't playing no games. I'm not being locked up in no other country. Yeah, I'm going to run they, shit. They first of all, I go, run. First. I go where the tour guide takes me. That's that's all you got to do. Just just pay attention to that. Go nah, where I, the I tour travel, guide I, I definitely takes you. Travel off the beaten path sometimes. Hey, are we allowed to get up on the podcast and get drunk? You can do whatever you want. All right. Some certain yeah, rules. I want to get no, chewed can. out off camera. Like, you yeah, did not. you went off camera. Oh, uh, no, I'm still here. You good, brother. But, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, what that mean? Well, I mean, you got somebody to talk he to. Holding down. You know, okay, <laughs> he holding down. Okay, he holding the cue. Okay, I'm, I'm got just, you. I'm sticking to cue tonight. So, you know. Oh, no, man. You know, I'm, I'm just. They like said, said, don't I'm, go acting like you're the shit. Rather, you know this shit. You know this shit and ain't going to take no shit. And they'll teach you the lay. <laughs> they'll man. teach you the way of land. And I think. I like that. That's good. That's advice right there yeah but but i think too if 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 you from a neighborhood like we grew up in you already got certain warning signs with you a kid you know oh don't go over there down that street because such and such and them down there don't be playing that shit so you naturally pick those up i ain't never had that type of experience well, I mean, I have because when I was probably running, why I think I'm invincible now because I ain't well, you know, a lot of y'all women never been if a lot of y'all around think so because yeah. a, a band ain't never fired on you. Yeah, if you ain't never but been experienced, you, you, lose, nothing, you, you lose that shield, that I mean, invisible it, shield. So this is like, oh, you ain't gonna put your hands on me when you yeah. get that first hit. You be like, okay, so oh, several damn. things. I've been, I've been at places where popped shit off. has popped off. However, you be it's out never here. been my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. It's never been my shit. Like, I tell people all the time, they be like, oh, I hate Milwaukee. And I be like, me as a person, I have never been in a situation that would make me. I don't like, I don't like when folks throw that, uh, I hate Milwaukee or I'm ready to. Either. Get I love I Milwaukee. Y'all like to get out and, and we want to leave the city and explore. And, and a lot of y'all get out and come back and you leave again and whatever the case may be. I'm cool with all that. But please, man, all the negative shit, we already got enough negative shit speaking down on the city. We know it's bad. We grew up here. Your mama lived here. Your grandparents came up here. Blame Milwaukee them. ain't even go, Milwaukee. Go, go put your grandparents up. Let's and, let's and, be and, honest. And ask them. That's All right. That is rough. That right. damn. So, okay, y'all. R.I.P. to my granddad. Shit. He was the reason why we up here. And then bo both of them niggas. No, great granddad. Because my great granddad came up here. Long on tree line of people yeah. to blame. My mama, yeah. my mama shit. My, from Greenville. So my great granddad on my, on, my, on my dad's side came up here after an altercation with a white man down south. Uh, on my they're, they're going, side. That's it right there. That's the main yeah, reason why a lot of us came from yeah, down so south up was, here. They was at the beginning of the Great Migration. I want to say, no, my yeah. mama came up here because they grew up in Greenville, Mississippi. My granddaddy was the so person who, yeah. yeah, my granddaddy was the person who drove them to the plantation to pick cotton. See, so you want to get they away moved from up here that. because it was foundries and things and stuff up yeah, north. Yeah. So like my daddy moved, up, yeah, it was a different type of work. money yeah. work. Yeah. So they moved up here for factories, so especially Milwaukee. So yeah, so look at it, y'all, for the ones that that don't know, and and you know a lot of people, I think. You know, if your grandparents still around and they're cognitive and they can understand what you've been through, you should ask them what they did when they came up here. My granddad worked at a Coke plant. It was a C O K E uh Coke plants where they it's like this black, like it's like charcoal type shit or whatever the case may be. But it, it was one of the south side. Yeah, he did that. Is. And then when they closed, he went over and worked at Briggs and Stratton. But then he also had his business, which was uh uh, uh he had his own cab, which was Bruce City Cabs. Now, for y'all that's in y'all uh mid thirties and maybe uh early to mid thirties, y'all might remember Bruce City Cabs. They was an orange cab company in Milwaukee. Only orange cab company with blue letters. And he worked for them for 30, 40 years. My granddad retired. Then he sold his cab number. So if you ever see the cab number 128 out here for that American cab company that was out here, that oh, was his that cab was his company. Yeah. Oh. So 128 was no not the company, but the the, the, you, the number. The, the number. number. The so number. you sell when you sell your cab you selling your number and shit. That number that one caps, that motherfucker is worth to you. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker is worth bands and shit. Yeah. And come think about it, I was fuck like that. I wish you would have kept that bitch and gave it to me. Cause then what if you could have transferred that number into like a, a private sh chauffeur company? Well, shit. man, shit, yeah, it'll, it'll be a nigga yeah, sold that shit. Doing, I'm but... assuming you can. I, I'm assuming in my head. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I feel like in my head, if you have that number. And you decide you want to get a luxury vehicle that's like for transportation needs and it meets all the basic qualifications that they need you to have in that right. vehicle. You could probably put that number on like a stretch it. limit. Like, right. You know? I wonder, yeah, that, yeah. I wonder if you got to separate it from like from like the taxi. I wonder if it's is it just the transportation company mm -hmm. or excuse me, it's transportation number? Is it just a number that's like registered to like the you know, the taxi industry or some shit like that. Who knows? I know. But I, I know one thing, though, that, uh, you but, know, regardless of what happens, Lyft still came. You know, what's Uber still said? came. Yeah, still came. And you can get a black woman. I got, I accidentally got picked up in whips. Like, yeah, uh, the, the 
whips the, the the car canceled, so we had to come pick you up in a. I got picked up in all type of whips, yeah. just, you know, accident that it, they it come with so, the game and shit. Yeah, and that's been cool. So, wait, the taxi right. one that did that for me. We gonna jump around. We gonna we gonna do the topic, but we gonna jump around to everything. So right. speaking of being blackity black black. Okay. Oh, all day. So, yeah, blackity Love black, it. black, all day. Outside of Black History Month, baby, I am black. I love being black, love it. and I tell people all the time: the only thing that I have to do is stay black and die. That's it, Them the only things that I can't control. You I'm, I'm a love. I'm a love doing it. That's it, and I love being black. Absolutely. So, like with what you just said, so I had somebody tell me a little while ago that I have now. You you know me, but you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Like you. I feel like you know me pretty well. And, and I ignore so, some things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm Somebody like, told me that I have a negative outlook on the com- African-American community and things like that. And I had to explain to them. I said, no, I don't like nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. Black folks I said, and, and, and even with difference. that person, we had a conversation. And, the, and, the, and it stemmed from her, her saying on Facebook, like, Oh, everybody getting these PPP loans. We should have band together and bought the Milwaukee Mall. All I said was they had a project going for the Milwaukee Mall already. I said, I don't know why construction has stopped, but everything has ceased. And yeah. I said, I know because I'm in that district. I work right. across the street from it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. The bid talks about it. It's right. a it's a common yeah, I heard thing. About that. You're right. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a hotel and they it's was, so, it was supposed to be a yeah. hotel with boutique or whatever. Yeah. She and I was like, and so then she was like, Well, you just don't think that people could work together, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you're right. I said, so you it's mean evidence to tell me, of it. You mean to tell me these right. people who lied <laughs> to get these PPP loans was mm-hmm. gonna take these PPP loans that they lied about and was gonna turn around and try to run a business based off of running a fake business Yo. that they had? Like it, it's not a black person Yo. thing. It's not a neighborhood. You, thing. Yeah, that's your the reason it's why you. Thing. The reason why you so right is because I used to work in the bank industry and I was in an area particularly where you know it was that type of economy. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, them PPP loans hit so. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm exaggerating. I remember this guy. He was a young boy. He was like 21, 22. Got the cash. You don't say his name. I, I don't remember his name. He let's say he came in on a Monday and his and his money. And by dropped. Thursday, that account was clear. Yo, next week Wednesday, he was coming in to get the last four thousand dollars to get a car. I checked. Look, no, this ain't the worst though. How much was it? What you mean? How much was the PPP like loan? 20, I mean, how much was his? He got twenty. I know. I know. Well, depending on where you was at, no, he, no. cash was getting thirty, no. seventy. I, it depends on how you was doing. Well, on his on his account, it just said it said twenty three thousand, and that was probably the first draw, right? And I was like, I was like, oh shit, this man got twenty three thousand, and it make it crazy that they was dropping the PPP loans in checking accounts. It wasn't even business accounts, right? <laughs> which is crazy. Accounts that they Listen, was attached to but, businesses and was scared to do the PPP loan. Yeah. I was like. You yeah. gotta pay it back. This man literally between Monday and Thursday spent six thousand dollars in total because I, I did the numbers up because we wasn't getting a lot of walk-ins. His Uber Eats was seven hundred dollars in total, and, and within a week, mm-hmm. he stopped at Foot Locker Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and bought three pairs he of shoes. He was like, "Oh, I ain't got nothing to match this fit. I'm about to go to Foot Locker." <laughs> Yo. I'm talking about Uber Eats. He felt like he was rich. He was like, balling. He was spending, he spent at least a hundred dollars on Uber Eats a night, twice a day sometimes. Damn. Getting all the getting, groceries done. Getting, getting red food, food. Getting red no. lobster. Yeah. Getting red lobster so, delivered from Uber Eats. But wait, so wait. So this is what this is what so I, I believe. believe her. I seen it. But this is what I was believing to. I, I said my thing was, and I had to break it down to her. I said no. I don't think negatively of the hood. I said because the hood is not what's ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Right. People are it's, ghetto. Right. It's not the neighborhood Good that you're lifestyle, from. Yo. It's yeah. the I. It's the it's the mentality that you have. Yeah. yeah. That's the type of shit that I don't. Yeah. Because like. you could be rich and still be hood as well. Yeah. It's yeah. not. It's, I mean? it's never about the community. It's never right. about the location. It's never. It's about the people who live there. You know what right. I'm saying? I said for one, like you think that you and a bunch of people who ain't. This is 20th and North. I've been around 20th and North and been on 20th and North my entire life. Right. I've been to church on 21st and 21st and North. You know what I'm saying? My right, whole life. Right, right. I've walked over there. I I know I knew people who lived on that block. My sisters and them lived over there. Right. Been over there. I after school is over there. So and then I, and then I was like, fam, you don't know me. If you knew anything about me, you would know I've been working with kids in this environment for literally my whole yeah. life. Like I grew up with kids from this neighborhood my whole life. Right. Like for you to tell me that I have a negative outlook, no. The problem is people like me. Yeah. 
you decided that you were you and right. 15 other people who don't know anything about the needs of this community was going to come in to this specific corner this specific community and be like yeah we're gonna come and give you Yo, guys everything that you need absolutely. hey you know what yeah. it's so crazy i had a guy get an argument with, with an argument with, with me just because he just wanted to argue. money yeah i told him that you know i invested in bitcoin or whatever real early on so i got it oh, somebody said i feel you on that but these people doing their um in things also feel like f the gov and reparations need to be paid so they That's took so full oh, advantage right. of it and used right. the money given as their money i get it i yeah. said so but let's be honest back? let's be honest that's when a loan. You, you gotta play it back. The yeah. problem with us, the problem with us is we don't think about long term effects of other people. You know what I'm saying? Or like, long term effects of yourself. Of yourself. When, when you when you playing with their money and you got it. I'm sorry. I just oh, no, when it's good. attached to when it's attached to your account, like my boy just said, it's, it's attached to a checking account. It ain't attached to no to no, no duplicate, no no fake account or anything. No. It's no, going nothing. directly back to account that you established probably with your social security that you got. And then soon as soon as you think it's sweet, which well, a lot of cats thought it was sweet. Yo, and, and, and that's the thing. People, I think most yeah. of these was going to checking accounts. No, so they, you gotta, they most of them was they was all every going account every that account I had. Was, at they that was bank. giving PPP loans on Chime, okay? Yo, hey, yo, I had literally people. You got to do your money. social to get most of them joints too, right? Don't Chime you, yeah. So or like, unless people was doing like uh, what is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. My cousin, look, my I should have my cousin I, I chime I'm about in to be in a victim one. of it because somebody was trying to get me to, to do some joints like that. I'm like, look, man, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. Yeah. I'm I'm too like I'm known in this company I'm because scary. of these numbers I'm doing, no. and I'm not finna go to jail for you. Hey, look, they I got reached out to ain't too. enough. Yeah, I got. Cash was saying like, oh, I go, I do three years for twenty for twenty. You do three years, you could make no, no, no. twenty no, 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 three thousand no, no, no. dollars no, no, no. a week no, no. here. Yeah, if you just steal your shit. Listen, listen. It's so many yeah. ways to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, twenty three thousand. I'm gonna sell my soul for this thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> so I, I know I'm gonna go do this right. two and a half years Ain't and then have shitty credit pay. for the rest of my life. Ain't nobody finna come together and fix Milwaukee ball. It got to be one person who fix it and be like, "Yo, y'all niggas can't come." And that just let me. And that and and this is a and she had a business. She no longer has that business, but she has a business. I was like, you as a person who was a entrepreneur thought that this was a good idea. I said, and you don't even see the problem. I said, no, you, and and I'm not saying, and it's you know, even she it, might watch this and I don't care. It gotta you be a saying? miracle for this. I'm time. not saying that she was naive, but I, I am saying that people don't understand, like, and I'm not saying that you had it, but it is a such thing as light skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's such thing as white skin. She light skin? Uh, yeah, she light skin as hell. Oh, so she didn't, but. So she had that savior complex, like, oh, we should just do this. We should go into this community and we should just do this. Like, fam, how do you who don't know nothing about 20th and North think you about to come in and tell these people how right. to respond? I said, if somebody from here can't open up a store and not get their shit robbed every other day, how do you think you're about First to First, you need here? to go through the automatic districts and make sure that you reach out to the people that actually are in charge of that area, county supervisors. It's, it's, it's a way to do things. You just can't. You know, can't just do that. You just can't do that. And plus, and they already got shit probably invested into Milwaukee first uh, all, market. You whatever, know how much that lady it. sold? I think that lady, if I'm not mistaken, she sold that for, I think it was at who least it? five. It was a black lady on the Milwaukee Mall. Oh, really? And she sold it for like five million or more. Like, she sold it for a lot so of money. It's, it's been so. It's, oh yeah, she did sell it. It's so. Yeah. Remember, it was, yeah. um, so the, the boutique. It was, was, yeah, it was that, Kaylin yeah. Hayes. So they not, uh, but you know, as far as the hotel shit. I mean, to be honest with you, that whole area, because I mean, back in my younger days, I you remember lyric. Well, shit, you, well, damn, I don't know. Lyrics, lyrics lounge or lyrical lounge or whatever it's used to be called. Lyrics used to be up the street. We used to go kick it. At it lyrics. was the way you just tried to come at my age like that. You was my like, bad, my bad. No, I, I ain't know if you know been the lyrics. I know. <laughs> nah, I don't know what lyrics. All right, so lyrics was, was a spot that was right there on the corner of Final Lack and uh, Final Lack and North back in the day. So you got the little clubs and bars that have been through there. Be honest with you, they not gonna open up no boutique hotel there until they start gutting gutting shit out. You know well, what I'm saying? Was. No. No. Was. So they were. They, so this is this is the real tea about finding like the real tea about finding like is the Bucks won the championship. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They won all that. They won all of that. And because yeah. the Bucks won that championship, and because Find the like is a straight line yeah. between connecting the whole city to downtown. Yeah, they're gonna build up but everything. You know on Find but the you like. know what's crazy though? Most cities that you go to, and a lot of people can contest to this, I'm sure. Are, uh, test to this. It's real hood and yeah, but you, any yeah. Downtown. So you go down, you know, yeah. I mean, ours is most of them like that. Cincinnati, like that. The cities Detroit, I go to. I mean, not Detroit. Baltimore is the worst. Cincinnati. Uh, I, I can't really say to really speak for Memphis. How much you said Baltimore is. Baltimore is. Yeah. Oh, horrible. you know what's funny? Bro, That's what I dude was talking about. Memphis. It's, it's That's bad. what dude was talking about during uh, what just happened in Baltimore. Oh no, what's coming up? CIAA. 
He said, and this guy got a uh, whole video where he was just talking about, all right, so you start seeing this, and it's just like here, they told you start seeing these infinities, you know what I'm saying? You didn't went too far, you know, you know, turn around. So they said it's a whole street that take you right out of right to the hood and from downtown, but just That's like what somebody said, somebody That's said we're set up to accept the system. They don't care about their short-term incarceration if they can feed their families or their egos for that matter. Exactly. So my thing is sometimes you care if you yes. step on sometimes the people literally Animals, don't see the lifestyle. light on the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people don't care about that they short term because right? they don't see any other yeah, it's way got, it gotta it. be it gotta yeah. be instant you know yeah. hey, i give you it's, five dollars and now you got a new building up they don't yeah. see the if somebody day. has literally known nothing but four generations of struggle and they don't see nobody else around them doing anything other than that how are you going to come in and just tell them that they can do something like if you're not showing yeah. them and something like, and, and if why, you're not giving them something and, 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 and why are you on this side of town talking why you ain't why you ain't working on your side of town <laughs> Why you ain't working on your side of town? I went, so I was in Baltimore. Y'all know I'm a church girl. Baltimore is beautiful, yo. It, until you get downtown. Until you get downtown. I promise you, the hotel that we stayed in, they have like hotels, like downtown, big, beautiful hotels. Wait, wait, like. bro, until you get downtown? No, they're in downtown. So, yeah. like, so it's literally, like it's so nice it's just like middle, Wisconsin. And then look yeah. Hell out just just think about literally Wisconsin, the street. Yeah. If you go on 27th of Wisconsin, right. that looks but completely different, but yeah. it's rougher. Yeah. So, like, I'm literally, me and my god sister, we coming out the hotel. We like, oh, it's nice. We downtown. Whatever. It's real nice. See, middle of the block. Like, motherfuckers outside. Middle, drunk, middle passed out. It's nice. This is the hotel. Middle of the block. It's nice. All the way up right here. You get half of a hotel pass right here. Abandoned right. car. Everything else is yeah, yeah so, and you know they closed a mental health ward, so they released oh, everybody who was streets. in the middle. Yeah, they released they, everybody they into the street. They stay downtown, and then people coming out that hotel. Yeah, hey, right. so you give me some change. Up. I mean, you gonna Facts. people Having coming out that time. You people just coming out that hotel got money. No, seriously, this yeah, dude, this so, dude followed yo, us. Man, he, it got to the point change. where I was like, "Yo, let's no, no, hey, for change." Like trying to talk to my my god sister, who at that time was only like seventeen. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he was a he was like a 40 something year old yeah, dude. Is. Like, followed us like to the point hey, that I didn't even no walk guys? back directly to the hotel. No, I walked no guys all the way either? around. Huh? I'm sorry, no guys with y'all either. No, it was just me and her. Yeah. And he had I me. Mean, you can hear, you can tell that he had mental health problems because he was literally talking to himself. Oh like he, but like, I work in healthcare. You know what I'm saying? You know when people are dealing. You know what I'm yeah, saying with afraid. stuff. Like, I'll be afraid. Yeah, it was very I'm, much I'm so. Like in a, in a public atmosphere myself, and yeah, you. Yeah, I used you to work for the food share employment training program, and yeah, people, with, birth, people hey, with mental illness is extremely strong. Oh, they got a program where the, at the company I was just working at, They're extremely strong. That's, extremely that's strong. not a myth. Like, it's extremely. It's strong. not a myth. My cousin who has who's a bit apt, he's on the spectrum a little bit. He's a big guy. You right. He's about six two. And he's a gentle giant. You know what I'm saying? You you know, somebody was messing with him. He slapped the shit out of him so hard on the right side of his ear. He shattered both eardrums. Eardrums, yeah. On both sides. And he had green shit coming out the side of his ear. He slapped them. They strong. I used to wrestle with him when he was back in middle school. I don't wrestle with him no more. I knew then. Because <laughs> hey, I hey, thought hey. I was strong back then because I had just dropped that weight. And I thought mm-hmm. I was I was doing, you know, 200 push-ups straight. So I thought I was a monster. You know what I'm saying? But then, and you, he showed you you wasn't a monster. Oh, too easy. And then for a minute, I looked him in his eyes, and I didn't think he recognized me. So I, I got nervous. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes they don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Stuff I, happened, yo. Yeah, I've I blacked out before uh, in, in the altercation the where street, I really don't remember. Look on the I street. You can't be doing that because it happens. I'm like she could probably she could probably run up on me right now and I do not remember what she looked like. I don't be the worst fights. Yeah, yeah. It was rough is when you see people that you grew up with that and had their mental illness. Uh, yeah, somebody so, right. Yeah, yeah. Somebody Man, and sometimes yeah. and you know what's crazy? It be sometimes it be us doing stuff to us. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, it is. Dress. I had a folks, yeah. yeah, I had a homeboy who it shit. was all over the news. And he had beat up the homeless guy on the stairs, killed him. You know what I'm saying? Oh man! And that Talked was my home. downtown. Yeah, yeah church that. steps. Yes, that That's was like three years ago. Right? That was like three years yeah. ago. That was like my people. You know what I'm saying? With the high school together, I I was dating his brother. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like everything. Like and that person was literally the sweetest, most intelligent, articulate black man that you can meet. Like but he was he did some athlete. drugs that night. He somebody laced his weed. That's what happened. Somebody laced his weed, and That's what when happened. they laced his weed, he literally flipped out, and he was—he's never been the same. 
So that night from yeah, that, that situation, yeah. not not just My that night. Like it that. was it was a little bit before that. Oh, you know, before they laced that, they laced it, weed. and it it you yeah. know those chemicals can permanently oh, alter yeah. your so brain. I, I'm trying to figure out. That. Yeah. So uh, all right. So I've had it's multiple people I've met. Uh, I had a student that came. I used to work at Job Corps on 60th and Mill Road. Uh, for anybody that went to Job Corps or possibly you know had a family member went to Job Corps, uh, one of my students that came through, uh, his his auntie was a cop she took a position at the job corps as like a student so she stopped being a cop and she took that bread at job corps which was smart I'm like, so she was kind of fine too get your fine ass off the road <laughs> one of these niggas snatch you in take snatch your you block up. and take that and take that, that goodies. npd take pussy. Goodies. Okay. Take that, uh, what you want pussy. you know what i'm saying when you well, share that's John not Brown funny but you i know it ain't funny, funny <laughs> tell me <laughs> they gonna take that taser put it on that ass girl no anyway let me stop playing here come all the MPD. That was wrong. <laughs> you made a comment about Milwaukee yeah, police officers. Until y'all, right. until y'all, until y'all rectify that um, army lady, the lady who was in the army who got raped and oh, they man. poured acid on her to cover it oh, up, and she was yeah. African American. Yeah. Y'all can't tell me nothing about what yeah, I say. Yeah, yeah. Well, like all I right. said earlier in the podcast, we are not welcome on any continent on the planet Earth. That was here. Yeah. So, so, uh, so he, their nephew came to job court and. Uh, he, I guess he was a 4.0 student, and I guess right before he came to Job Corps, somebody had slipped him something. Now, this young cat, man, he was he 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 reminded me of a shorter Steph Curry. They said he was cold at back, but like you could tell he could hoop. He was a little gone when he got by the time he got the Job Corps. Man, you leave could tell drugs he, alone, he, had, he could hoop. But what happened was somebody hated on him and slipped him something. He was a young cat, so you know, at the time when I left there, I was 28. I think he was. You know, he's probably like 19, 20, but, you know, I used to see him floating around, and I, I wonder where he at now, just thinking about him, but they said how he was, how smart he was, how, you know, uh, how, you know, just how inquisitive he was, and, and just a, a just an intelligent dude, and he ended up uh, getting slipped, a situ- he was getting slipped, some shit, I don't know what folks is doing. It's going on with fitting on now. Yeah, but it, You know. just got evil people out there but that want to see putting, what happened to you. But I'm trying to figure out what are they bro, putting. You, you, this you, shit been going on for a long time. What are you putting bro, in somebody's it, weed? Yo, you want to, like I, like I just said, people come back. You people, can do a chemical. Bro, so you can even people take People been induced, exactly. But the thing is with, with that, which is legit. Because that shit is like, of, that shit ain't bringing, they ain't coming back. That ain't like getting laced some coke. What No, first of all, all anything that's from the earth, crack. Anything from that earth won't whatever. That's the same thing like with cocaine. Like you got people do cocaine for thirty years. The only thing they get is a, a septum and they and they nozzle and shit, yeah. you know, and they be all right. And then yeah. they hit crack. But then when you get crack, it's, it's chemicals that's inducing that. It's a lot of right. stuff on on labels that we have in our cleaning cabinet. Yeah, well, you know that, that you could yeah. turn over. Yeah. And, and they say that rat poison. Yo, they said that every major. What I, I'm trying to remember how I used to go, but poison it, chemical. Oh, whatever. Yeah, case might be. Is in that shit that meth, glass, Chris, all that shit that yeah. fentanyl. Yeah. So yeah, no, you, your, your shit is like a computer, yo. And bombing and, fluid. And when something get overheated, yeah, it, why, yeah. it only, yeah. It only yeah. takes yeah. one thing. Like some people, yo, and fuck oh, you up for the rest yeah, of your life. Two right people can take the same thing and it can affect your body differently. differently yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like and it's crazy, so, but even with psychotropic drugs for well, people natural. in healthcare, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying like, like I've literally like in healthcare, you literally see. People who take psychotropic drugs, it changes the chemical of their mind. Right. So they put them on come track, in, yo. No, take them off track. Like, oh, yeah. you have we. I've had a client who literally came in when they were younger and they were more active, they were more alert, they mm-hmm. were whatever. It was on psychotropic drugs because they needed them, like it was prescribed. But they were so strong that this oh, person now well, see, that's, can't communicate. Well, yeah. that, that's you what, what I'm saying. Though that's, that's still wild. lab shit, that's though. Wow, that's still lab shit because the natural psychedelics, and like I said, the mushrooms, mushrooms, no, that's not like that. That's by the what, what type of trophy, But that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's made in a, ma- a lab. I, yeah. I was uh given uh this drug for my uh I got insomnia. So and, and and it was like, oh, your assignment is causing your migraine. So if you take this, it'll be whatever. So I'm like, all right. So you know, whatever. I get up to the line, I pay ten dollars for it. So I Google this shit, and this shit was an anti. Uh, what's the shit when you're crazy? An uh, anti psychotic. Yeah. And it was giving me that for insomnia because they wow. had because yeah, but that's how the, they do yeah, yeah because two of the ingredients work yeah. for you. But yeah, that, right, two two yeah. out two out of five is shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then just so happen, you got a problem with snoring, bro? Give you, you something for crackheads. And you know what's you know funny? What half the time, 
you get experimented on because you're African American. Right? Oh yeah, they don't sell that. And shit I'm, I'm going to even talk about me. So recently, before I found out I had fibroids, I was going to, you know, my primary doctor is amazing. I love her. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, lady she doctor, referred me. Good. Yeah, she referred me to an OBGYN. Yeah. So I went no to the OBGYN. Be OBGYN. No, no, the male OBGYN I had was amazing. Like he was really? the one who told you said me. No man yeah, should be OBGYN. He was amazing. It's he literally, like, right I, I'll, I'll never forget my first appointment with him. I wanted to get a birth control. And he told me to my face that he would never put me on Depo. And he explained to me that Depo had never been FDA approved. He wow. explained to me that Depo was of, created. Which one? Which, the, shot. The, shot. That's the shot. And that's a lot. And and that's you know, a, know how many chicks what, yeah, got that chicks shot? That. Oh, my he told God. Me. It was he a lot said, I heard that name plenty of times. A lot of yeah. women was years. Pro, a lot he of told me. He told me that it was created for people in mental health institutes. To not get pregnant, you know, because they would still sleep with each Hell other because yeah. they were able to. Yeah. He said, but it had never been, it had That's never crazy. been tested and proven to give to the public. So that explains because why they all don't the chicks know. is going crazy. Yes. On, on, on and the that's shots, why, bro. and that's why people no, lose weight, crazy. they gain weight, your hair fall out, your hair grow. He yeah. does. There's no way to regulate one how long it stays in your body. So when they tell you to come back Whoa. every three months, you, probably, you could be putting it right. on top of you, on, on top, top of each other, on hormones, on hormones. Yeah. It depends on your body. It has no way of monitoring that. They don't know the the form. Formula for it changes. So my, right. he was very upfront with me. He was like, "I would never do that." He said, "And what?" And he was a white guy. He said, "And what broke his heart was the fact that it was so prominent in the African American community." He yeah. said, "Doctors were only pushing it in African American communities." Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. That's you know how many know women that you, yeah, yeah the me, I was on yeah. depot for. When I was on depot, so, I did not stop leaving for like three months. The first, yes, yeah, so people was on that shit. But some people took that depot shot for ten. Yeah, but you know, I dated a girl that that took depot. And uh, I had a glass of water. I saw like nobody drinking after me, but she drank it after I did. When I drank that, that that water was nasty, and she got that depot shot that day. And Get out! I knew that had to be something to do with it. <laughs> Get out! I'm, I'm dead you serious. Got, you got, the tongue. She changed the, the tongue. She changed the, the taste tongue of that filter. water. She probably she probably sucked some other dick before she came. Yeah, something like that. It wasn't. Didn't have nothing to do with that. Some of that. Damn, nah, she, she was a sucking. savage like homegirl. She might have had some. Of that, I never uh, did nobody that wrong though. I never made anybody. I never made a woman that mad where she want to go suck another man's penis, come back and kiss me on the mouth. But you never know. Yeah, that. Well, you, you, you never know. I do it, know man. because I'm an adult male. Look. <laughs> and when I'm and when I'm talking to a woman, it's I the know way you hold. Right. He's holding the All mic right. like a All cigar. Right. No, I mean, no, I'm think serious. Side, you, he think you know, man. They pull some cold moves, fam. <laughs> They Bro, I know they, I know they I don't believe I that women are angels. We don't do anything. But it's the women that you're dealing with. Like all it takes is. Five minutes in a walk through. You show me what the bathroom is. You show me what the bathroom is. Real quick. Mm-hmm. I got two of them. Exactly. Show what, me what the bathroom what, is. What, what I'm she, saying. Yeah, lost. She went to the bathroom. She what, went to the room. Real quick. What I'm yeah. saying is, what that is, is I'm that with, with, <laughs> with, with, with me personally, a, a lot of women who I who I came across, they pick up. Women know, like women got intuition. So they know, like, oh, I'm a, I'm a decide to be smart about this one now. Or oh, he looked fun. I'm gonna throw all this out the window, blase, blase. But it depends on who you pick. If if you carry yourself a certain way, you mind a certain way, then you will get a woman that which you don't have to worry about right. that. Oh, that of course, before. of course. You know what I mean? No, no, that's not my issue. I just know what I've seen. No, I know. I know yeah. women can be very vicious. I know. I've been a part of that joint. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get right. I yo. No, you, know you I mean? told us. So I told I'm sorry. Stop. I don't need to make a joke of that because you're my boy and I don't want to be. I feel you, know. you but she, I did tell her. I, I said no, and, and it wasn't sturdy enough because, like I said, it's a, you said, it was a little you, wavery. But did you just hear the no? Did he say, I said no? no. I, I tried I said, to get it I said, out. No. And then, <laughs> right. And that caught the hiccups. I told you I was at a weird so angle. It really wasn't even no. no. It was like, ah, no. I, I, I could. I, 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 hey, either way, that's she, what she didn't even know. I, you know what? Like, I don't up. believe. Yeah, I don't believe that she took it from you. What happened Yo, was you said, no, yeah, and then you got I, hiccups, no, and then you I, said, oh, I, I, and no. it didn't connect. Let me tell you. <laughs> When you, when you, when you look, uh, everybody know when you holding a, a somebody's leg and you you feel resistance. She felt resistance and she held no, in there. Extra that's not seconds. what that means because if you that feel put that if you feel resistant for me, that don't mean stop. That means you know keep going. Yo, I'm getting ready. What what was that wrestler's move? He used to do a move where he take both his calves across his leg, hit you across the leg with the head with it. I was about to do that with her. Because I, I and she probably would have kept going if she was the savage that you said yeah, she was. What? No, okay, that's what I'm saying. I when I resisted, she was like, and I was like, <coughs> you think you? But did you ever body? really you say no? Huh? Did you ever really say no? Yeah, when I finally got to it, because I was like, <laughs> but was it too no. late? Was you already there? Yeah, it was too late. That's why I'm saying it was. So late. you said no after the fact. 
I couldn't say it right away. But if you couldn't say it, that means you didn't say it. So you never said no. But I'm pushing with my legs. That, but that she, just could have. She went from this to that's, that's <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> You trying to pin me? And, Damn, and luckily, dog, you caught a full, look. You caught a fool. Yo, look. Fool. look the most of my me too situations was being grabbed. You know when I didn't want to be grabbed. Yo, when expecting it. That this is a pure. This is yeah, a pure pressure. definition of this is a this is a clear definition I'm of who. you give somebody an inch and they take a mile. <laughs> I, 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 I and she and I, at one point I felt like she had both my ankles in one hand. And she went from licking she a few inches to licking a mile. Yeah. That's what you say. No, she crossed the line. She went past the goose. I ain't measured my goose, but in my mind I would think of that my. It's not that long. I'm thinking my shit yeah, like three like, inches. I think I got some space. I need in my mind it feel like a mile so and a half. Like this from your, from your hip okay, well I, I'm thinking in my head. I'm thinking in my head. I'm three inches. Yo. Yeah, probably about right. Cause you know I'm good. So, but we all have been violated it a was, little bit. It was the way no, he bro, looked I, down. I, I did. I, I did a little inside. I did like a you know like a measurement. I feel like I had one of them little joints. You did. I, had, I just like you hey, did that. You no, know, when you shave for the first time, at least I did when I started shaving. Oh, no, I'm like, no, I, let me see how far I, I can look, go back. I, let me just I, clean up a little bit. Hey, up come back on, what? There. I clean up. Look, yeah. I, you know, I should. Can't let that the hair man look. Just you, imagine you can't have a lot of hair back there. You, you, you get the dangle berry, yo. Rap. And you go, you sitting down here with a jungle between your legs, yo. Man, you got the dangle berries. Yeah, you got the dangle berries, and you got to trim up, yo. You got to. I learned gotta, a lot you gotta, about you gotta, males. You got a Japanese fumigation system going yo. down there. It's, it's, what did what did Kathy ask the last time she was here, Tom? I want to ask y'all. Oh, so when y'all okay? So this is a random question, y'all. I'm sorry to my <laughs> oh, viewers. Here we go. So uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this so when y'all so use crazy. the bathroom right to do a number two. Oh, I don't. I said. Do this. you let it? Yeah. Do you? I let put it, my like, joints on top of the stool. On the on the. Do you pick on the it seat. out or do you put it in? Mine's on the seat with some toilet paper. Uh, I get. Lift, I get. You, I get four squares. You lift it up. A fold and a half, and then I you hold it. You you, you, you lift it up. You lift it up. It depends on the situation. Every toilet is not all toilets are made equal, but you got to lift your shit up, and it depends on what type of what type oh. of deuce we drop in here. All deuces are not the, made equal either. No, no. You know hey, if, if something exit, I gotta take a shower. That's number one. Yeah, you got. Yeah, I'm in, I'm hopping in the shower because I'm afraid of mud butt, and I'm I'm, I'm afraid of my sit down stain. He just said he just yeah he just said he had issues with my my smelling good. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and I want y'all to know that your booty is real close to your area. You know what I'm saying? So if she hooks oh, you know. up, we know. Oh, they right, know. Right. Believe me, because you, you, you crack them up. open. That's you what I'm saying. You're gonna get a whiff. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hey, so like, yo, if you, if you been too far now, we fighting. I ain't gonna hold you. Man, That's what look. I'm saying. So for you to for you to strong arm me at a vulnerable position, I was like, yo, like literally, I had to click my. Well, obviously, well, obviously, I got didn't care about any juices flowing from from your uh, rectal area. I just got out the shower, but once but again, what rectal makes, juice is flowing still. But no, no, because you didn't got out the shower. It's still rectal juices. Hey, whatever you want to call it, but I know for me. <laughs> I go up to the line. You go anything past the line, you end up touching the wall. I get, I go this line on the finger. I don't go no deeper than that. I stay right there, right towards the nail. I get a nice, you know, soap with with a towel. You tell my cleaning yourself. So. Yeah, oh, okay. Clean myself. I, yeah. I was very so, confused. For don't go too like, far. Once you go past the line, that's it. You might as well. You're not a virgin man, back there no I'm more. I'm great at bathing myself. I ain't. I ain't. So that's what I'm saying. So when I came from I that you're bathroom with um, you know, oral. I was like, you do what? No, no, no. What you do? Not the, not, not the boy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, once again, Don't we see. talk about hey, it's deep. We gotta. <laughs> said, well, you know, like I said, because what's I'll going take, that day? I'll take, I'll take this much talk. This much. You know this much. No, because because you, you got girl, women out here that don't want their joints to be touched. So tell me, you know, we get ready to pop off. I say, hey, hey, you know, I'm, you know, I'm be doing some work down there because we, we talked about it earlier. I'm be doing putting in work down there. Yo, what's the what's the what's the what's the great divide? And they be like, no, nah, I don't I don't do bus stuff. And thanks for asking me because I wasn't implying that I wanted to do it, but I just want to make sure you don't be expecting nothing, See, nothing extra. And I, I can't I even say what I'm about blow. to say on I'll this live. Like, I give a little Thomas the Tug train. On this live. But I might do I'll a little. I'll wait till we turn this log off. Did I reply to that? <laughs> I give it a nice, you know, blow back to give it a and then I go back to working up top. You know what I mean? But for me. I, hey, I'm gonna get down there and hook you up. Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, I really appreciate that. She like, hey, by the way, I think I might touch that hole. Like, oh no, 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 thank you. And now, oh, if Lord. I'm and now in my head, and I gotta worry about you. Now I can't even trust you, so I can't even relax. So that means you're gonna be in that position a whole lot longer because I'm too worried about me taking getting taken advantage of. Oh, 
So for you women out there who I never disclose this to, you hook me up. That's the, that's the reason why I put my knee under your chin when I tell you to stop. <laughs> I, if you got a knee, you a, you gonna have to get you gonna have to get a, you know, have to get a few replacements. <laughs> I was like, Janetti, remember the Rockers off WWF? I was yeah, like, Mario Janetti. I, I was you, fucking, die. yo, don't. So, yeah. So, when a girl tell me lay on my stomach so she give me a massage, I got two pairs of drawers on. I don't know what you finna do back there. All that whispering by the crack. Get up here, young lady. What you doing down there? I don't yeah. trust you. And why your hands so oily? I said whispering by the crack, though. Oh, yeah. You ain't never woman ever did that? She, no. was, like, she was like, I ain't got that. And it went from my crack up my back, and it slapped both first the ends of, of my first ear. First of all, you be meeting some, I mean, some period because I'm a Because I'm a nice guy. Period D freaks. I'm like, a nice guy. I don't know what conversation you be giving people at the bar that make them want to come home and whisper into your ass. Shay. But we, I don't. Shay, <laughs> we've been in bars. You know I talk to women. I'll be loud and disrespectful. Because you do. I can. You do. Because they be making points that don't make no sense. I don't know, because you was never loud and disrespectful to me when I was my No, you cool. You was cool. You didn't come off as confrontational, even though you just like to talk a lot of shit. That was it. And then when her and then when her light skinned like, when her light skinned nigga came in there with the freckles, he tried to charge me. And that's oh, when the problem Lord. started. Yeah, the fresh, fresh I said, hey fresh, man, get I say call your dogs wait, off. Wait, 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 wait. Where's you at? Where, call your dogs at? off. I used to bartend that tandem, okay? Damn, where's tandem sound from? It was on Honda Lack, yeah. 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 I used to yeah. bartend yeah, we that there, tandem, yeah. and he used to uh, and he used to come Sam, in. Yeah. And he used to come in quite frequently, like a few times a week. Yeah, yeah. And I he would come. He do. would like keep me. You know, he would talk to me at the bar, or whatever, yeah. whatever. And my ex came to tandem one current day, at the time. and he came in like he on the. Place. He wasn't my current. He was my ex at that time too. Oh, okay. He show came and yo, he sat one seat away from me. It was a, it was about fifteen chairs in between me and the next person. He go sit a stool from me, like to the point where our knees is this close. And I'm like, oh, he trying to and he trying to dominate for position, uh, you know, doing an extra knee wide shit. Day, I'm like nobody else at the bar. To this Bro, day, it was it was two people at the very end. To this day, oh, and I'm at the like, other end. He he was fighting for your love. He was he was he was like, he was letting me know that this is his lady. And I was not. Yeah, but, any, but hey, any average man mind otherwise. would have been like, oh shit, let me stop. So I'm just, you know, I'm I was talk. less single then than I am right now. I'm gonna okay? talk. I'm gonna talk I've, like I've never been as single as I am right so now. So when I, when I said something, I said something like, something stupid, like, yeah, man, you know, like uh, Kit Kats, man, they're fucking delicious, but you only get four. He was like, well, you know, if you got money out here, you but you buy a king size. That's not what happened. <laughs> that's that's not like dog. That. I was uh, like, a dog. This, this man well, is you're killer. Sick. This you're sick. Killer. So you're sick. <laughs> he you're a killer. Sick, Cause yo, that's not what. Like I did. he was like, yeah. Let me get. You are uh, sick. So I was like, man, let oh, me was, uh... let me get a cognac on the rocks. Straight. He should like straight. I was like, yeah, just on the rocks. You know, I drink my shit straight. Cause up. he and he and asked he for a super tornado drink. thunderhawk. So it was like two parts vodka, two parts gin. It had it had Casamigos I'm getting, in there, a whole bottle. Casamigos wasn't grape. even popular. That's and how you one know he's exaggerating. He was like, "Yeah, let me get." He was like, "Let me get a a, a tsunami thunderstorm." It was all types of hard liquor. He drank the motherfucker straight, <laughs> and it wasn't in no shot glass. That motherfucker's big like this. And first of all, he downed no, that shit. I was like, "Oh, and this I ain't no a punk bartender." If you ever had a drink for me, baby, you had a drink for me. Yeah, that's okay? why she was getting tips good. And she had I, her titties out, so she was, was getting I, double tips. It was I like was the tips best bartender. The drinks, I wonder was she there? For the was she there that day we uh did that meeting? No, she wasn't there because okay. it was earlier in the day. Yeah, it was early in the day. Yeah. Nah, I'm the best bartender. People love me. As oh well. yeah, she was getting mad tips at the end of the night, yo. And then she love wasn't me. cleaning her dishes, so that means I had to do it because you know I'd be up in there. I, you know I was doing part security, part. So what happened? Was, no, 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 no. I believe in having a bar back. If I have, so what Caitlin used to do. Is Caitlin used to have me on the nights that were slow. And so I would be the only bartender. No bar back, no nothing. However, I had people who rocked with me. So okay. the people would come. Okay. So like if I'm It'd in the weeds, young boys. I'm not 12, 13 year old boys who come, you know, who were who just got off uh, out of high school, hey, and she'd be like, "Can you wash these dishes from me?" Like, y'all, hey, <laughs> girl. Okay, fast. first of all, if you know anything you about me, if anybody knows me, twisted. I am a damsel. I don't believe in carrying things. I don't believe. Did you ever see me carry anything? No, and you shouldn't. If you if you pretty and you got great hygiene and nice personality, if I it's should, a man right there, right. you should I let that man that. carry Those your shit. Too, great, uh, uh, yeah, great hygiene hopefully the too. top yeah. three. 
You ain't care helping your stanking ass. <laughs> Don't take a bath, bitch. Then yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, no, yeah. but literally, like I, I was never, I was never that person. And I'll just no for why. Yo. It was too many, it was too many pennies. No, I mean, no, Yo, yeah, I'll be, I'll be over there doing our something. young boys. They, they be young like, man. fix that toilet in there. I'll be like, all right. And yeah. then he'd be like, man, get, get that's how I was raised, though. You ain't supposed to, you know, you know, unless unless it's the requirement for them to help. You know, you grab everything. I, I mean, I grew up in the house with what you know, yeah. you know how it is, bro. Yeah, shit. you know, I've been, in the house, I've been yo. handling, I've been you handling open, shit for yeah. a minute. Like, yeah. shit, I ain't putting enough work to the point. I'm like, shit, I need to. Yeah, my wife. That or shit, I need to just find me a woman as you know. Shit, we gonna we we gotta go up and, and get this bread. We make your life easy. We need to hire some maids and shit, maids and shit, because I didn't put I in work. That. My auntie didn't have me putting in work since I was young. Shit, uh, all my niggas, I used to keep away. All, all my young fellers that uh, I used to be hanging out with, they pull up and be like, "Man, you always doing yard work." Doing I'm, the, I'm the only man you here, yo. So. But then, too, at the same time, shit, they weren't, you know, they they weren't uh, pressed to do what I was pressed to do. And it's at the, the same time, the my auntie could have had niggas do shit, you know. So, you know, like no, said, it's it a cultural was, thing in in the black community too. Sometimes yeah. motherfuckers, you know. The mamas be like, oh, let him live his life. He gonna have fun. Let him enjoy. I grew up with a you real got a father. Then the dad, then the then the step daddy. You're right. Yeah, yeah but I you, grew up with then the step daddy or, or the daddy. Oh, oh, she. Uh, you know. I had both of them. Yeah. I had a father and a stepfather, yeah. and my grandfather. I had four. Yeah, and yeah. My I had uncle. the yeah. I had the men. Yeah. So it was like yeah. it was it but was chain of command. Yeah. Some cats didn't have that though. So for me, I had the granddad. I had my uncles, right. and then my dad. He was in California. You know right. what I'm saying? But but you still got father figures. Yeah. You know, yeah. If it's heavy, Them, you so, go get it. Dog. That's just how. Bro, I got. not even heavy, bro. Look, <laughs> I've been cleaning gutters since twelve. I mean, hopping on the roof since I was twelve, Same thirteen. Here. Dog, the backyard at my auntie's house. You. You on 69th, you probably don't remember, but man, that backyard is yeah, two sitting on two that. lots. Yeah, you know, big ass backyard, big bro. I've been yeah, back man, here. been getting it in, bro. Yeah, they yeah. cut the tree down and shit. But other than that, I've been getting out there and doing all type of shit since That's I was nice younger. Here. So, you know. That's Nick. Been being out there and 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 doing all that stuff out, but, and, but like I said, now, it, uh, but uh, I'm glad I got those it made skills you who you, now. Yeah, right, it made right. you who you are. Because yeah. I ain't got no problem cutting some shit. Shit, still, I be helping put up fences and stuff. Yeah. And I didn't put up a fence that didn't tore down so many times. I know how to put up a fence now, <laughs> right? With no issues, me and my niggas outside, and you yeah. like, bro, I need to put this fence up. Well, shit, fuck it. We all need is a measure. Really, right, all we need is to take measures, some string, That's some goddamn it. concrete. You know what I'm saying? The fence panels. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. yeah. And we straight, but you we gotta make that shit even. Fence? Huh? Hell yeah, gotta be privacy, baby. Cool. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm more. I'm more. Some head in the back room. <laughs> and you see, I slid that in. You like, want some head without no issues. I'm I seen what you were doing last night, Nick. <laughs> I'm more or less down. Your wife were over there sucking. She was over there sucking your dick at uh. I'm down with I'm like, sir. I'm telling y'all right now. When I get married. I Man, mean, dude. the Bible. Listen, the church girl. The Bible says, "Look, I need, the, I need the bed of a husband defense. and wife shall not yeah, be defiled, need, meaning yeah. nothing Man. that y'all do." Husband and wife and well, whoever I, the can guest, I say this guest host is. Let me shit. let me say this. There's shit. ants outside. Me and, the husband, me and the wife might need to guess a guest host here and there. But it's it's know, ants outside. I'm just. Saying. I don't want no hey, ants touching my bare skin. Oh no, hell no. Nah, huh? Who wants some ants? Some once. Ants? Yo, it's flying ants. You think I want an this insect flying shit. on my penis we as it goes into this? Hey, that's girl? why you start a fire. Yo, look, let me say this. I'm not, I'm not no quick, spontaneous, just getting this back seat. You dirty. You, you already expressed that. Right, right. You, so, you when need I'm, proper so I'm, preparation. You are right. a bed. So, if we, like, I didn't, I didn't, I, I are you I a pillow out, princess? <laughs> pillow princess, what's that? Pillow Meaning princess, like, you just lay back. Just that's what most women tend to be it's just like they just want penetration they don't, my they don't want to put in work oh, absolutely not I'm, I'm definitely active if there was uh what they call that uh that competition that people had like tri tri triathletes i'm more be, or less that because i be do a pillow princess you athlete that's so. what i'm saying so no i don't like to it's just lay there because then i also feel like i'm losing it that, feel like a I'm, women turn but well at, and at the no, end there's of the day it's it's plenty men that are princesses so so when it if when you it, need to be spoiled, you're a princess. So no, so when it comes to outside, I have a tent that has a strip on the outside that's insect repellent with all that. Yeah, we could be sexual and spontaneous, but let's get clean first. We got we got them wipes right here. We we've been now we had we only had the AC on for for uh, for eighty miles, and we dropped that window down for a little bit. So we got to <laughs> compensate for the sweat. Now, so that's, that's I'm a pillow princess all here. 
Oh, they say you're a pillow princess. Oh, somebody said they a pillow. Girl, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, somebody. Princess. You didn't oh, told her some stories. She like where you to was lay like, girl, back. I'm just laying oh, here. He better just be glad that he could get some. She like to just be laid back. And that's another thing too. If you are a pillow princess, you better have good sex faces and noises because if if you sound like a metal dust, uh, a metal a vacuum cleaner, and you just laying there, this is <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting none of this. And she just like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, somebody said this man. Hey, somebody said this man been through it. <laughs> that's why I said earlier. When you that's why you got. That's why you got to smell the pillows. Uh, when I go over a girl house. I'd be like, can I use your restroom? And if her bedroom there, I go in your room. I don't go through your drawers. It smell like ma- too, ma- too masculine. Bro, if I smell that pillow and it smell like saliva, I'd be like, damn, her breath. Like, not saliva, but yeah, if like, it smell like spit. batteries, it stink. You don't brush before you lay down. So I know you don't give a fuck about these sheets. And damn. then I go in there. I'm going to call you daddy, too. Oh. Uh, Cute faces and everything. They call you daddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, but, but, but that's how I am, though. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, it, and I don't want women to think like, oh my god, he wants somebody to just be he. No, we we went to what's that fest everybody go to every, every year? Uh, uh, with the with the crazy red summer fest. We didn't been at summer fest crazy, for five right? hours in the sun. Now and you wearing wedges, so you you doing a little bit extra work. You got some, you got thigh chemistry going on for the four hours. You've been standing out in the here. Shower, for sure. So if we ride, I literally been out with women, and and, and it'd be their first time a sexual interaction. Hold on, hold on, hold on. However, some guys prefer that. Well, it's women out there that prefer. No, I had a person too. that yeah. I dated. Trey and he Song preferred and, and a motherfucking women miles. So yeah, niggas don't give a fuck out here. Oh Did my he say god! That? Did you he say that? Warrior. Did he say that? Yeah, he didn't say it, he did hey, it. I had, so somebody, I had somebody oh, spit my mouth so cold. Oh, you a warrior. You a monster. You see, you had somebody spitting in my mouth so cold. I see why, I see why niggas be... I mean, I see, it, it ain't a spit. Like, it's not that no, it's a, it's, a, it's a sexual saliva gathering yeah, sharing. It's like, it's like, if you paid attention, it'd be cars Dang. coming down here with the headlights nah, out making damn. a U-turn at the corner. And I think it's these niggas, you, you did that too. That nigga, he, he be out there every time I'm out there. I'm like, who is, what is this? What is this 1888 Delta? Ex- this Delta 88 <laughs> coming down here with the headlights off, making U turns. Slowly. That light when skin. He did it. That light skin. I don't know if it's a light skin dude, but that dude, that light skin was holding guard. Like, he's, like he let him spit in his mouth. He did tell me that he's driven past my house like three times. Man, I don't want no. Hey, bro, if you know who I'm talking about, I don't want no smoke. I'm making it, I'm making a joke out of it, but you was pressing my hard, and I was like, yo, this nigga ready to die <laughs> just to be like, don't talk to her and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I let him win all the oh, mental battles. I'm oh, like, yo, Lord. you can have it. Oh my god. I hope I hope he went out there stalking. No, I don't I, I had a stalker, but my stalker that I had don't know where I live at now. Oh it, it don't gonna take one grocery store visit. He gonna, I don't think he's he talking gonna, he gonna call you all the way from Syndex. Right, he go right. He go. See you in Syndex and Whitefish Bay. No, stay away from Metro right. Mart because they got rats down there now. But it, it, coming from all these, Is that Metro Mart that had the rat. I thought yeah, that was downtown. DC. No, that's that Metro that Mart. No, that's a rat in the grocery store. This was in the motherfucking case the, where they yeah. keep the meat at. Right, and Metro Market downtown. It was Metro Metro. Yo. No, yeah, that motherfucker. I was well, like, shit. I mean, that's downtown. It's downtown is made on Marsh. Like, if y'all know about Milwaukee history, walk uh down what well, downtown area well, is made on Marsh. So I ain't surprised what pops it's up. All, in every movie uh, that takes place in New York, they got rats. So we yeah. just assume every <laughs> every downtown got yeah, rats. Yeah, it's water and shit. It's Nobody's real. Live and shit. Shit. Y'all know about Jones, the Jones Island that was in Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. Look up Jones Island that was in Milwaukee. Jones Island was a Milwaukee. Here. Was was a was an island area, was a residential area right outside of Milwaukee. I know a lot of little random. You're supposed to know about your city, man. Hey, you niggas gotta start paying attention about your city. A lot of man, y'all live don't here. care about what you like, man, do. <laughs> nigga, fuck that nigga. I don't care about my 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 daughter, nigga. Damn, you dog. think I care about the city of Milwaukee? Right. I don't That's care insane. about my son, nigga. Right. I don't care about my mama. You think I, I care like about the city. Of, nah, real talk though. That's real shit. Milwaukee niggas be like that. I don't give a fuck. Well, shit, I won't nigga. say Milwaukee. Stop niggas. me in the street. I just say well, some. I won't say Milwaukee. Well, I live niggas. here, so I'm talking Milwaukee niggas. City. So what's up? Yeah, I love my city too. Even for yeah. the ignorant niggas. I love them too, but it's the ignorant niggas that you know. But you they can everywhere. Tell. Yeah, niggas like racism. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's they everywhere. Yeah, they, they they're about as bad. I think ignorant niggas is worse as racism because I hear a stupid comment from a. No, I can deal with that. 
you you hate me because I'm beautiful. I'm cool with that, but I don't want a nigga hate me just because I my all my color car doors match my car and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't color want car doors match the car and your outfit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like niggas that hate on Y'all you know just what? because you said, yeah. "Oh, bro, you didn't say my right. shit was lit." Y'all stressed me out. Both of you. But I'm just saying, though, it's, it's the truth. You got a bathroom though. down here? I do. We actually about to close it out, though, because it's okay. been we've been our good oh, 90 shit. minutes. Oh, shit, we didn't get all our topics off. Damn. We didn't. Uh, I'm going to have to bring y'all back next week. Yeah, please. Please do. They just got to come back next week. Y'all yeah, want to see them next week? We're going to see them come out on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. I'll come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a reason to come out on Wednesday. Okay, y'all. Increase, increase the crowd and make sure we uh I'm help my young lady get this thing going properly. Right. Of the okay, game. y'all. Thank you, Shay. Yeah. I really appreciate Shout out to it. Shay. Thank you. I, 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 I beg to get on here. Her she beautiful house. Thank I've been trying. I want you. this house. I know she ain't gonna sell it. <laughs> Shay, hey, if you sell this house, let me know. I don't be you. trying to just let me move it. Don't in the basement. Yeah, yeah. or I'll take that too. Yeah. Yeah. Take that too. I mean, I shit. The real talk is room. You between like where I, you know, downtown, and my auntie and them stay here. What if I just can't make it all the way? What if I just can't make it all the way to the crib? I mean, hotel. I mean, all the time. Come on. Yeah. All of a sudden, she's like, "I'm calling the cops." Right. And then sheriff's going to come because it's right across the street from, you know, where it's at. Uh, you know what I'm like, saying? You said one well, night. You've been here for 20 days. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and ain't left. I ain't even like that. You had to ask about me. My people know. I'd be like, come on, come on. It's a guest room. <laughs> yeah, every day. Like, I appreciate you for showing yeah. us no love. Problem. So, thank you. Yeah, so what we're going to do, you guys, we're going to let y'all close out by, before I end it, we're going to let y'all again tell appreciate everybody you. who's on here, appreciate everybody you. who's tuning in, give them your tags, give them your name, Absolutely. you know. And the people on Instagram want to see y'all. I go oh. first. I go first this time since he went first Thank last you. time. So, uh, again, I'm Nick Sanders. You can find me on uh, as Wisco Brian on our B R Y A N. I got the cool spelling. Yep. And uh, Nick so Sanders why? on uh, Facebook. Those are my names. Uh, don't do no weird shit. And good. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And, and me, I uh, yeah, uh, Nazir Gray. If you want to find me, I have an Instagram. I do have Facebook, but you know, once you log out, you don't know your password. They want you to go through a lot to get it back, and I don't care about it that much. So you can find me on Instagram. It's an actor named Gray A N A C T O R N A M E D G R E Y because it's the cooler spell instead of G A Y. Uh, and um, yeah, you can find me on there. And once again, Shab, I appreciate you, a gracious host. No problem. And you guys, of course, I am your hostess with absolute most is yeah, Shay here. Sheesh, niggas. <laughs> I am your hostess with the absolute mostess. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, remember, we are blackity black, black black. I love being black. I love being here. And I most importantly love y'all. So I will see y'all next Wednesday. Black Peace, people. love, and hair grease, black people and non black people. Y'all are important too. But yeah. well, we talking about we us talking right about now. us right yeah. now. Yeah. Love y'all too. All right, and we're out. Out. <laughs>